If you're watching this right now, you've either arrived onto my stream before our notification went out, which I love you for, or even better, you're watching this on my second channel, Diet Juve. All additives removed, just pure, uncut. Wait, that actually sounds like the opposite of diet. VOD channel enjoyers, you're my favorite. And don't let Twitch chat tell you any differently. You're far superior both intellectually and looks wise. Just by watching my second channel, you're clinically proven to be 200% hotter, hotter than your Twitch compatriots. I totally get it. Time zones, work, obligation. It's hard to stop by a live stream, and I'm not even here to encourage you to do so. The fact that anyone out there is interested enough to watch me here means a lot to me, so thank you. If you would like to get better connected with the community though, a follow on Twitter or joining the Discord are other alternate options for you. And let's keep these little stream intros just a secret between you and me for now. We don't need Twitch chat finding out about this. Anyway, you might want to skip forward a bit because because today is returning to Solstheim, which I'm actually really excited about. Hello, friends. How's everybody? Oh no, I, ho I hope nobody saw. <laughs> I hope nobody saw the secret intro. I mean, the uh, not secret intro. Wait. I mean, the non-existent. It's just not there. It doesn't exist. It's between me and the VOD channel, okay? How's everybody doing? I'm sorry I wasn't able to stream this week. I really had to figure, uh, or I really had to finish up that, um, the randomizer video, but that was a ton of fun. And I have to say, I'm pretty blown away from the positivity and just kind words everybody has had about the mod. It was actually really, really cool yesterday to see so many people working together and trying to solve a nonsense problem that makes no sense and is stupid. So that was a lot of fun. Oh, there's a lot of new people here. Walk Warrior, how are you? Da 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 na. Welcome, good to see you. Hello, nib -ba nib lord. Smalls Littleman, how are you? Cohen's. <laughs> oh, you're saying hi to YouTube and not me first. All right, that, that's fair. That's fair. So I found something really cool the other day. And I, I, I made a community post about this on the second channel if you follow it. But this was wild to see. On Twitch, I actually just found this not too long ago. So Twitch actually will tell you. And, and I don't like to get too into like numbers and metrics and all that kind of stuff on stream. <clears throat> but this one was a little bit different because this was tw Twitch told me essentially, right? Let me just get down to brass tacks. Twitch told me like my lifetime. Uh, it was like my lifetime watch time in the three years I've been on Twitch is like 47, 48,000 watch hours. It was something like that. And then I looked at the second channel, Diet Juve, where we re-upload the streams for people to check out if they miss it on Twitch or if they want to see like how a video on the channel was made. In the last 28 days, the VOD channel has more overall watch time than the entire three years I've been on Twitch, which was like mind blowing. And it's, it's absolutely Thank because people sure. fall asleep to the channel for sure. You discovered the survival stuff. Really? There have been some people that have mentioned that they found me from the uh, VOD channel, which is where I'm like, that's actually crazy. Anyway, we're back. We're doing survival today. I'm really fucking excited. I've been having separation anxiety from Turkey Stick. I'm, I'm ready for Turkey Stick. Zakara, thank you very much for the tier one. Thank you for subscribing. So you no longer receive advertisements from Thank you, kind my sir. boss Jeff Bezos for strength for stamina the belt how does that what what does he say uh, uh. <laughs> for strength for stam leather belt uh. thank you kind uh. sir. hey man hope you've had a good weekend loved 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 the randomizer video and congrats on a sponsor can't wait to clench every time we see an enemy Kian, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Yeah, no worries. Thank you all for putting up with uh, me putting a sponsor in the video. I'll, I'll wait until that whole thing clears up to 
talk about it. <laughs> that was a doozy. Uh, ooh, I need to make sure we're recording. So, good news. That I think might excite some people. Is... I think the next video on the channel will be... The Glowing Sea. That's all I'm gonna say, though. Will we continue doing the randomizer? I think I do want to do the randomizer again. I think I want to give the community some time to dive into it, test it out, see how far they can get, kind of have some fun with it in the state that it's in now. We've already gotten a ton of feedback. Uh, when I say we, I really mean DDM. But the feedback people have shared is awesome, super helpful, a lot of great ideas people have shared. I need to make sure I'm getting the right save. What did you do to Hacker? And why has he been replaced by James Condon? <laughs> I, I replaced him just for fun. Tricky, thank you for four months. I, I replaced James Corden just because I was bored of the hacker and I haven't had time to do a new election ceremony. Your school is going to the NCAA Division II Finals in what sport? Rocket League? League of Legends? Or one of those, one of those like normie sports, you know? Is it because of your like father, football or, is it or soccer He's never been the same or football. <laughs> yeah. we, we, we have to call it, f we have to combine the names because England and the United States tied. We have to combine the two names now. So hold on, I gotta get my bearings back. It's been a really long time thank since I played on this time, character. Sir. It'll, thank you for the prime. I appreciate it, thank you. We, I think our big next obstacle to take out is General Falk's Carius. I think that's, I mean, that's scary. But I, we all know, or you know, anybody who's familiar with it knows that Falk's Carius, especially on this time, kind sir. of playthrough is overpowered. Cassandra, thank you. Thank you for the sub. I can't tell I can't tell what that means. It says you converted from a prime to a tier one sub. I'm not sure how that Hey either either way, thank you. You found my channel while just watching the most random shit on YouTube? I feel like that's how most people find my channel. Now, I mean most most people probably find my channel either by watching Nurbit Jabbo, Spiffing Brit, or Mickey D, to be honest. That's probably where the majority are. Or, or like, occasionally, uh, like, uh, people will find a, a video of mine after watching a Doug Doug video or something like that. I think YouTube does a fairly decent job of suggesting, you know, videos. They do an all right job. Doberns, thank you for stopping by. Mickey D sent you. He's a good lad. You know what's crazy to me though? So on this character, <clears throat> let me catch everybody up. If you haven't seen the um, if you haven't seen the streams on the second channel, that's no problem. Let me just catch everybody up because I need some catching up. So this is the sixth day that we've been streaming this. I think it's day four, maybe five on this character. In the first two streams, we already had two deaths. This character, we've gotten all the way to level 25. We have cleared out every single overworld enemy on the lower portion of the map. Up in the snow, it gets a little bit more difficult because we're on survival mode. We don't have to battle the elements down here. So I've been playing it as safe as possible because I really want this character to be the one that we take all the way to the end of this DLC. I haven't noticed any respawning enemies out here, but we've cleared almost everything out. So a lot of it the last couple streams has just been trying to get our skills up. And the main ones that we're focusing on are Conjuration, I didn't realize I got alchemy to 41. I think I've been buying training. Sneak and archery. So, I mean, okay, like, I'm not a sneak archer, all right? I am a battle thank mage you, kind, with ranged abilities. Madam, thank you very much. Did I miss, did I miss any other ones? I don't think I did, but thank you, madam. So don't call me a sneak archer, all right? That's it. That's sort of where we're at. The closest quest we can try to complete. Oh, sorry, everybody. 
I forgot. There we go. That's how many days in game have passed. Forgot to include that. Let me just make sure that I'm accurate. Days past 17. There we go. We're on the right path. So I want to just go between the main traveling points that we have, get my bearings back, and then we'll engage some enemies. You know? I should be focused on getting money right now. Yeah, I'm short on money. I've been spending a lot on training. I want to level up alchemy so that I can start making potions. I think having a lot of potions on hand as we get to later encounters is going to be crucial. I also want to level up enchanting because enchanting. Thank you, kind sir. You notice that with a lot of my videos, I don't use my camera. So I don't use my camera in most of my recordings or in my general gameplay recordings because um, I like having the entire screen. Like when I'm editing a video, if it's just the gameplay, I have the entire screen. So I'm not blocking anything. If I need to show the magic bar, I can show the magic bar. Uh, it like, it doesn't limit me to what I can put the focus on with the camera. That's the biggest reason why I do it. Plus, I, I think in general, this is just my personal taste, I enjoy a lot of gaming content that is faceless. I don't have a, I, get, I, I don't really have a preference between the two, but I think going faceless throughout the majority of my videos is best because when I make my videos, I'm trying to narrate the story through the characters in the game, if that makes any sense. A gritty? Nah. Nope. Not happening. Uh, so the problem with being so Thank far you removed... Kind, sir. Thank you, Cassie. Oh, two face. Thank you. Or two months. Part, part of the problem with being so far removed from the last time I played on this save is just not knowing what miscellaneous loot I have. I don't really know what... In oh, you know what? I remember. Last stream, we found a potion. It was two recipes, or it was salt piles and scathecraw, I think. And it makes an expensive potion. We were making good money by making those. I almost want to make more of them. Also, an update for anybody who's... You know, not all caught up with what's going on. We have a pretty decent build so far, especially for the lower portion of the map. A lot of the enemies on the lower half of Solstheim deal fire damage, so we ended up going fishing, and we found this ring, which gives us 20% for every resistance. We found a necklace that gives us another 30% armor to give us more health, but then I decided to start with the Dark Elf because Dark Elves have fire resistance naturally built in. So we've become pretty sturdy for the lower level enemies. I'm just going to take, I'm going to take everything. I'm taking all your mushrooms. Walks in, takes your mushrooms, refuses to elaborate. Floats away. I have to choose you or the VOD channel. I'm not going to, no, no. My favorite to play, I I don't think I have a favorite to play. I'm trying to think, like, I'm a basic white dude, so like Imperial kind of resonates with, with me a little bit, or when I was younger it kind of did on like Oblivion, and, uh, or maybe when I was playing Morrowind as a kid, Nord, uh, but... I think now I really like, like if I'm playing Morrowind, I think you got to go Dark Elf. Who doesn't go Dark Elf when playing Morrowind? It's one of my favorites or yeah, Dark Elf is my favorite in Morrowind. I love athletics uh, and, and Dark Elves have that. They're pretty good with that in Morrowind. That's the one thing I always try to do in Morrowind is build for movement speed because I just hate being hindered with uh, slow movement. Skyrim, I think I like, uh, I do like Dark Elves in Skyrim too. I'm trying to, I 
I like I like red guards and orcs in Skyrim because their passive ability is really good. Usually though, I just go for whichever like character I think I can make look the coolest. Sometimes I'll play like a play like a a frail old Breton. Oblivion. Not a fan of playing a Khajiit in Oblivion. I like a Khajiit in Morrowind more. Mainly because the Khajiit in Oblivion look like Chester the Cheetah. And I can't get past it. I'll never be able to... Ooh. Hold on, that's an open camp, so there's people in there. Or there might be. Maybe not. Maybe it's a trap. This door is barred from the other side. Okay, so there's a cave on the other side of it. That's a bummer. I want that chest. Can I just try to get that chest without accessing the cave from behind? Look at us. We're adventuring. Oh, hell yeah. God, I love this. <laughs> Look at us improvising, making up our own salute. Okay, I've got to go back up. i got to redo it again. Not quite. I'm so happy to be playing on this character again. I've, I've genuinely missed turkey sticks so much. Can I jump off this slant? Ooh, this might be a good one. Right here. Got it. Usha. Sorry, Yusha. I'm claiming this bed for my own. Get off. Get off. <laughs> I feel bad now. Get out of here. Well, hopefully this note isn't incredibly sad. My dear Usha, we can make it work. Do not worry about my father. He will grow to accept you in time. Oh, it's sad. It's sad. <laughs> it's sad. So will my mother. Oh, the mom hates him and my and the sister hates him. Oh, <laughs> poor Usha. Oh, Usha, I only ask that you write and let me know you are all right. I have convinced father to look past your lack of wealth and see <laughs> Why is she putting him on blast? <laughs> I have convinced my father to look past your pimply forehead and rough skin. Also, your small penis. And you're broke as well. But he's looking past all of that, Usha. <laughs> I will be waiting for you, my love. Monesa. Maybe we can find Monesa somewhere. I mean, she's single now. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I feel East Empire Company Strongbox, too. Osha, I am so happy. Not that you're dead. I do feel bad for you. Poor guy. I mean, that's just like, come on. <laughs> Why'd they have to do him so dirty? You know when they're making this DLC, whoever was put in charge of, like, writing this little thing like if i ever was able to work on one of these games this is the job i want i want to be the person that just does the environmental storytelling stuff because you know they were sitting there laughing their asses off like hey hey <laughs> look look what i put in the note yeah he got dumped or, or <laughs> it's like isn't that what that whole train song is about is that song by train you know, why you gotta be so rude? That one? Or is that not by train? There's a camp. There's someone down here. How am I finding people I haven't seen? I've come through this path a lot. You don't belong in this neighborhood. You're in the wrong neck of the woods. Oh shit, I'm in the wrong neck of the woods. Wow. Just wanted to let everybody know. Oh, I'm so sorry. I was cheating. That was cheating. That was cheating. All right, I'll pay penance. That was not on legendary. I forgot to change difficulties back after the last challenge. Fuck you, I'm not paying penance. I would have fucked those guys up anyway. All right, let's just pretend that didn't happen. Okay, all right, I won't include it in the video. You won't mention it. 
No one's gonna clip this and expose me when the video comes out. It's all good. It's two kills, right? Holy shit. Are you serious? Thank you. Another strong box, another pendant, and another chest. Okay. Hellfire, welcome. Congratulations on making it to your first ever stream. The number <laughs> the number one stream on Twitch. Number one. Well, the only metric is it's number one in my heart, okay? So when I say that, I'm not lying. The number one streamer in the world. Ninja is afraid of him. Actually, though, I think I would clap Ninja in competitive Skyrim if it came down to it. I mean, I've been practicing my 360s. I think I can pull it off. Nope, nope. Okay, I need a little bit more. My sensitivity is a little bit low in this game. It's not Call of Duty. Okay, okay. We'll work on it later. We can work on it later. Prepare an apology video. Oh, man. I think that's got to be everyone's worst nightmare. I know that's like my worst nightmare. And then like, I don't foresee anything dumb. Like, but, ugh. I don't know. I like to just make, you know, gross jokes <laughs> and like stupid. I don't know. It's just like, Nah, that would suck. Cause like, what if you are really sorry, right? Like, of course, when they do the apology tour, you know, they're sorry because they got caught. But what if you are like, yeah, you know, I am apologizing because I got caught, which makes it come off as not genuine. But like, I, I, I promise, I feel bad. <laughs> like, what if they actually felt really sad? <laughs> like, you can't confirm it. You already, it, the whole thing already happened. Is there like an example of a masterclass in apology? <laughs> Nugget, how are you? Like, what's the best apology video of all time? Objectively. Thank you, kind sir. There's nothing. Epic Redhead? Is that my dad's Twitch account? I appreciate it. Thank you for the prime. You got a problem, you talk to him. I think that's what most people kind of do, right? I, they, they'll take a break. Oh, it's only 6 p.m. I'm not going to bed. Vendel Severin. Not a little baby. 6 p.m.? What am I, in preschool? Maybe that's when Altmer go to bed, but not me. Citizen. I'd be on the f I'm beginning to like this partnership. Not gonna lie, I fucking love this partnership too. A thousand gold. Take a look. If I remember right, we're gonna keep the flawless rubies and turn them into our own rings. I just found all that gold ore. So we should be able to make two golden ruby necklaces. Enchant those. That should fetch a good price. Iron, no. I want to save my iron ore, I think, because I can make steel with it. Get off your own forge. It's mine now. Gold ruby necklace. Two of those in the bag. Do I have any filled? I don't think I have filled soul gems. Yeah, we got to get filled soul gems which are increasingly hard to come by because the overworld between here and the Mushroom Kingdom is completely empty. Travis Scott apology? No. No, I think, I think like, objectively, that's got to be the worst apology ever. That's got to be the absolute worst one. I mean, that was... I, I, I don't even know. It breaks the scale on how bad an apology could be. I mean, the situation itself was awful. 
and <laughs> I, <laughs> I forgot about how bad that video was. Sad situation. I shouldn't be laughing at it. I'm not laughing at the situation. I'm laughing at the, uh, you know, his, his reaction to it. It was like the same reaction to when, if anybody in here has an older brother, like you and your older brother are roughhousing while mom's not home, and somebody spills a can of paint onto the prize family rug, you know, in the living room that's been passed on between generations, and mom gets home, and she's like, what? What the fuck happened? And both the brothers are like, whoa. What? How did the, who did this? No, who's, who? I, that's, uh, his apology was, uh, anyway. I'm done talking about Travis Scott. <laughs> Motherfucker has a Fortnite skin too. That's, okay, we got Spriggan. Spriggan inbound. All right, Spriggans are not our friends, but we should be able to handle them. Because the Frost Atronach has been a godsend. So has leveling up archery and getting the bow speed. Look at that. I mean, this is crazy. I'm on crack. Who needs skooma? Plus, we can stumble it. Which keeps it from even damaging our summon. I mean, it's I'm a machine gun. A little bit more tanky than I thought. Probably because I don't get I'm not getting sneak attacks right now, but compared to when we first started, this is insane. Does anybody remember how long it took to kill these when we first started? What level? Uh, level 25. Yeah, level 25, halfway to 26. I think I want to go this way a little bit. Oh, fuck. you guys, you got to remind me to soul trap. There we go, we got a Nyx Hound. This should be perfect for... Oh fuck, two of them? Fuck, three of them? Okay, that's a lot. Luckily, he's gonna tank all three. Can't believe he's running away. Oh my god, I can't hit it. Come on. There we go. There we go. They're not too tough. Thank you, kind sir. I'm just going to try and soul trap one. Hellfire, thank you for the prime. I appreciate it. Watch how much less damage this bow does. Actually, all things considered, not as bad as I thought it'd be. No soul gem larger. Ah. Thank you, kind sir. Three months woo. Reverend. Thank you very much, Reverend. That always reminds me, uh, your username, it always reminds me of Reverend Lovejoy in The Simpsons. Ramshackle Trading Post. Anyone here? Not much of a trading post. Uh, note on the wall. Is this anniversary content? Meet me here at midnight. What? Meet who here at midnight? That's like way past my bedtime. I, I have to be in the hotel asleep at midnight. I don't want to come out here. It's going to be like sneaking out of my parents' house. All right, there's got to be a camp nearby that I can sleep at because I need to get a few winks.
Who the fuck? Okay, all right, Breton. A nondescript Breton is now attacking. I bet this is the same one that uses all the same skills as I do. Pretty good damage. What armor is that? Oh my. Looks like, is that auriculum? Is that what it's called? Orcish? Orcish. All right, I need to get better with my aim. It's off. Don't make fun of my aiming. Gold necklace, orcish armor. That's a lot of loot for just one random dude out in the middle of the <laughs> out in the middle of the forest. I appreciate his contribution to the cause though. So we've got we've got three and a half hours until we have to be back there. Something's attacking me, Nick Sound. Let's bring hot mommy back into the mix. If I remember from last time, one of our goals is to just continue, continue grinding archery because there's a few more perks that I want to get before it's essentially maxed out. We're getting there. It's already putting out a ton of damage, but I want to get my attack figured out because then we can solely focus on defense. And I'm going to have to build in a lot of uh, frost protection, right? I think we've seen the ash spawns respawn in here. I would like to see more respawning enemies, though. Because if I could get to level 35, 40 before going up into the snow, we'd be in much better shape. Thank you, kind sir. Oh no, Ooh. I appreciate it. Looking forward to January. Thank you. Oh, there's some action going on down here. Okay, so I'm starting to notice a few recurring random events that we're seeing. It's always these two mages attacking each other. They've got some kind of like <laughs> long history. They're always duking it out. I'm gonna take the staff. I'm gonna have to drop something. Shit, what am I giving up? There's not a whole lot I wanna get rid of. I'm six pounds over. There, we'll get rid of that. 9, 10 p.m. We should have enough time to head back to town. Ah, oh, we're not gonna be able to sell stuff. So maybe I just wander around until midnight. I don't want to be over encumbered, though. By the time I go into this cave, because I guarantee there's going to be loot there, or I don't even know if it's a cave. It's some kind of quest, but that's what we're doing next. Where are we at with archery? Are we at 80 yet? 77. Okay, so we need to get overdraw. We need to get critical shot. Those are the last two that I want to get. I might as well aim for bullseye as well. So three more of my level ups are going to go into archery, which would put us at level 28. Then I think I want to focus magic, conjuration, upping how many spells I can use, crafting potions, frost resistance, Really need to make quite a few of those. Obviously, restore health. 
Maybe it's possible I can poke my head in here. We won't get to the battle of Falk's Carius yet, but I can probably just poke my head into Fort Frostmouth. Just be very careful. Okay, yeah, so they're already here. They don't have any patience. They can't wait for me. Was I missing it? Well, I don't do nearly as much damage to these guys as I thought I would. Okay, apparently my arrows are all... What the fuck? Come on! I'm going right under his arm... That was dead. Dead center. You gotta be shitting me. How? Every single shot was going right through him. Can I find the black books? I would love to. I would love to find the black books. We have not gotten to Blood Skull Blade yet. Uh-uh. Which... That's not a bad idea. Blood Skull Blade is... Uh, no, it's a Dragon Priest. I don't think I'm ready to take on a Dragon Priest. But what we could do is go through Blood Skull. We could get up until the point where we get the blade, but not fight the Dragon Priest yet. We could save the Dragon Priest. Wouldn't it be kind of cool if we got a ton of these quests up until the point of the big battle? and then did them all in a row. Like just handle all the boss fights in a row. Like it's a Souls game. Like it's uh, like it's Elden Ring. You could be right, Jones. They could be higher level. There's also this quest here. There's, a, there's still a lot of quests in this area of the map we haven't done. A lot of content we've uncovered on this character, but it's mostly just been non-quest related. Uh, Ze Zekara, I actually believe you're right. Thank you for correcting me. Because before you do the Blood Skull Blade quest, you jump into a cavern room. You remember that door you have to zoom, use the laser sword to open up? Right before you get into that room, there's a steep jump where you'll jump into the next room and you technically can't leave. I mean, maybe you can exploit it and glitch your way up the wall. But that is a good call. So we could get up to that point before jumping into that room but not much more. Ten thirty-one p.m. All right, we'll go. We'll do the midnight quest tomorrow. Welcome to Raven Rock, traveler. Could I interest you in any fine ash brooms? Are you really pitching me on your shit business at ten thirty p.m.? All right, this is a teleport. I always gotta buckle up when Turns we tell out there are two wood elf sisters who always fight together. Hellfire, you thank you. I always get caught off guard and I'm like, wait a minute. Who am I running into here? And I'm like, oh no, it's just the audio from Oblivion. <laughs> That's all. Thank you, I appreciate it. Colin, thank you very much. Appreciate you watching. I, I, I'm still pretty surprised it how uh, how positive the response to yesterday's video was it's really exciting Our eyes once were blinded. this sucks did that even did that even count as me sleeping fuck I have no food I'm out of food I don't have any cooked food level 25 no food can't even eat. Are you talking about the Reeklings up in this area? The ones who are friendly? I want to do that quest for sure at some point. Get Teldrin? Nope. No followers. Solo dolo.
Mm. I about tried to drink my my coffee too fast. Yes, Attila, use code POGJUVE, D-E-C-70. Use that code at checkout. I'm not gonna lie. I like HelloFresh. There, I said it. I'm a shill. And that discount code is actually a stupid deal. I, I was looking at, uh, there was an order yesterday. I, I, I didn't buy anything, but I was like, I was looking at like how much cheaper it makes the order. I was able to make like a hundred and twenty dollar order, like thirty bucks or something like that. I was like, "Oh, okay, deal." And then I didn't buy it. I didn't use my own code, which I probably should because I've never personally paid for HelloFresh before. I've just had the meals from someone else and then cooked them. I felt like Gordon Ramsay. Not completely, but. I was like, damn, I made some pretty good tacos. It's totally because of my skill and not the instructions. Thank you, Kev. I appreciate it. How you doing, Kev? How goes it? We're well, we're well along this journey. Husband Bendel, visit Want to buy anything? Uh, armor, or armor, armor. I grabbed that orcish armor. It's too heavy. Glover Mallory's the name. Looking to protect yourself or deal some damage? I I still feel like I have a lot to be desired or desired in terms of how much weight I'm carrying. I guess I'm carrying like twelve pounds of steel arrows. We can free up. I'll free up seven pounds. I have to keep an emergency storage. Just in case I run out of magic. Ingots aren't taking up that much weight. Am I really carrying that many ingredients? I'm carrying quite a few potions. Food, give or take. A little bit heavy. I don't know. On day seven, all the zombies attack. Go, oh, man. I want I, you know what that's a game I want to play I want to play seven days to die so bad Welcome to the wretching it's such a I bad game but it's such an amazing game at the exact same time I will never ever ever accept any seven days to die slander I feel like that game was born out of everyone's request when Minecraft first came out and we were like man this game is awesome, but wouldn't it be cool if it was like slightly more mature and you could shoot zombies? Night of the Dead. It looks terrible. All the screenshots and trailers are garbage, but the, okay. All right. I can see. That reminds me of the, um, it's the arcade game, Night of the Living Dead, right? I think that's an arcade game. Seven days meets rust meets scum. I tried, I remember trying that game scum a long time ago. And I, I didn't like it. I couldn't figure it out either. I think that game has a bit of a learning curve that I just wasn't prepared for. Okay, we just went to sleep. We have until midnight. All right, midnight is when we're going to go back to that little shack. So until then, I want to see if I can scope out some enemies or something. I mean, I'll poke my head up north a tiny bit, not too much. Like, we got a couple landmarks we can discover up here. Usually that means one or two things will try and kill us. Those little things are going to end my, uh, they're, those are going to end the run. Static, good to see you. IDK, welcome. If it's your first stream, 
I appreciate you stopping by. Thank you. What the fuck? How the hell have I never been out here? Thank you, kind sir. These damn hey, trees. Finally <laughs> catching another stream. Baguette, thank you. These damn trees blocking my view. Wait, no, I've I've been through here before. It's just I've never seen it from this angle. It's like when um so my aunt and my mom look very similar. No, that's a bad that's a bad analogy. I was going to say sometimes I get them confused. <laughs> I have before like there's a few times in the past where their haircuts have been similar and I'm like, "Mom?" And my aunt's like, "No." No, not your mom. Nice try though, kid. <laughs> try again, nerd. Did I watch the Game Awards? I did. I watched the entire Game Awards front to back. I watched the pre-show. I watched every ounce of the Game Awards. Uh, it was a great show. I thought it was one of the better Game Awards shows. I thought they did a great job. Like everything flowed really, really well. Um, Oh, I was I was half expecting somebody to just like usher Christopher Judge off the stage after he won for playing Kratos like come on <laughs> I could see Jeff Keeley in the background like get the fuck on come on let's move it along here but um man what a disaster night for Xbox Whoo! I'm not too big into the console wars and I'm an Xbox guy I'm an Xbox guy at heart that was a fucking terrible night for Xbox. I knew we weren't going to see Starfield. I wasn't expecting to see Starfield at all. Um, barely. Although, now that it's owned by Microsoft, it is a little bit weird to have not seen some of Starfield, right? If it was still just owned by ZeniMax and Bethesda, I would have... No, I'm like, no shot. We're probably... And even now I hold this belief. We're not seeing Starfield until probably really close to release. I'm talking like one two months so I, I wasn't expecting to see starfield but avowed state of decay fucking something I mean, what the fuck you announced all of this three and a half years ago we're gonna have some cool Here's stuff guys shift slay and the rattlings worship it like it's a god wait 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 well i missed it i missed it well it doesn't show up in my um Why doesn't it show up in my mini feed when I look at my stream settings? Hold on, I want to see. No, no, not the, not that, not that. That's <laughs> not the secret intro. Uh, I'm so sorry. I, I think that was a donation and I, and hold on. Maybe I can pull it up on the Twitch website so I can read it. It doesn't show it. What the? What the frick, Richard? I'm sorry. I apologize. Whoever that was, thank you. I guess you've, <laughs> you've done your job and you stopped my train of thought. I was making fun of Xbox. All right, but anyway, anyway, that was a fucking disaster night for Xbox. Yes, Zekara, please retype it. Uh, and, I, and I was really disappointed. I mean, there's so many, there's so many IPs, like, and they just had nothing. Now, I mean, they could do kind of like Sony has in previous years and have their own private show, and it could be badass and cool and awesome. And it's not like I'm sitting here going, oh, it's over. But it, it was, it was disappointing. I want to see something from Avowed. I want to see something from Outer Worlds 2. I want to see something from something. Okay, we're starting to get hit with some weather effects. We're officially cold. Not sure how much of a, an effect this will have on our health, though. What the fuck is that? Go, 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 go! Werewolves? Nobody told me there's werewolves here! Go! I just spit all over my screen and my mic. Thank you, kind sir. Slate. Hold on, hold on, hold on. And why are they on the side of those idiots? I can't stop that. I mean, there's zero chance. Okay, get up. 
Get up the mountain. I gotta get a vantage point on him. Oh, my rock climbing is failing me now. I have to get a shot on one of the werewolves. But we can start here. Thank you. Wow, 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 wow. Um, okay. Way more damage than I'm comfortable taking. I don't know if they have a path to get to me from here, though. So I think I can cheese them just a little bit. There we go. Uh, that did zero damage. Why is it so hard to hit? Oh, they're going away. They're running. Okay, here we go. We got one right here. Better context here. Oh, we can do damage to him. All right, they're not as bad as I thought. All right, come here, Jacob. Come on. No, stop it. Stop running. Damn it, gentlemen. You may be asking why I haven't summoned an Atronach yet. Fucker just dodged it. Dodge it. He's dodging them all. You can't dodge every arrow. I gotta prime him with some damage before I use magic on an Atronach, though. Where'd the other one go? I can't. Okay. Get up, get up, get up. I mean, he's really far away. I kind of want to go for the kill from here, though, because it would be cool. Wouldn't it? That one landed close to him. How are you dodging it? Oh, that didn't help. Oh, there we go. Gotta go for the easy shots. Okay, you know what? Fine. Fine. I should at least employ a summon to tank attacks for me. Because the summon should eventually charge them, right? Absorb some melee damage. Or just keep them running away, I guess. <clears throat> this is the worst kind of enemy for me to run into, though. I don't stand a chance. If a werewolf is ever able to close the gap on me, that's it. Run's dead. It'll be over in two seconds. They're too fast. I can't run. I'm likely not going to have enough time to heal. Shit. For such a large target, they're hard as shit to shoot. Plus they have the benefit of an invisible walls helping them out. 
There we go. One down. Fuck's sake, that took way too long. Why is... Is anybody noticing this? I'm, I'm having a really hard time with arrows just hitting enemies that are engaged with my summon. And I feel like I haven't had this issue before. Like, half my arrows are just going right through them. This is not Morrowind. I don't know. My kill. My kill. I thought he was going to steal it from me. <laughs> have I played DayZ? Uh, I have a long time ago. I had a good time. I have a friend who's really good at DayZ. They stream it pretty often. I played with them a long time ago and it was fun. <laughs> Naturally, of course, they carried and I just was the bumbling idiot who followed him around. But I think every crew in those kinds of games needs that. I think you have to have your nonsense idiot of the group who's just there to have fun and tag along. I feel like I'm about to step on a trap. Excuse me? Come on now. Okay. <laughs> I know we got off on the wrong foot, but... Is it something I said? We can talk about this. Come on. There we go. There we go. That's right. Rook, how are you? More frost resistance. <clears throat> I think we should be able to disenchant that. I want to say the frost boots I'm wearing now, I didn't disenchant because I want the frost resistance, you know, for me. So any enchanting XP we can get is a plus. Sorry. I had to clear... <laughs> I had to clear my throat real quick. I get super nasally on stream sometimes. It's gross. The human body, it's gnarly. It's so metal. Have I been here? I have. I haven't been in the cave though. Altar of Throned Cave? This sounds terrifying, but I'm just gonna poke my head in. We're not staying. It's definitely too cold in here for me. God, this could be the end of the run. Close quarters. Blood everywhere. There's a lot of mages in here. I've been here before. If it's just mages, I might be able to handle it with a couple... Well placed shots. The hell are they though? Oh, ooh, it's a hag raven. Never mind. Unless I can keep building up sneak attacks. Most of their attacks are fire, which bodes well for me. We got to take out this one. Come on. Stop dodging me, Isabel. Zygro said there's a cave with a makeshift sleigh and sandal where the Raelings worship it like it's a god. Lil also hail and party howdy to you. For the, um... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. My bad. I, I missed that earlier. But, yeah, I saw, uh... There's Reeklings with the worshipping Santa Claus. Okay. We'll, we'll find them eventually, probably. Given I don't 
blow this and get killed by these grandma witches. Thank you, kind sir. Twitch baby. Twitch baby, congratulations. Can I shoot between his legs? I can. Oh no, no, I can't. I was shooting my guy. This is a little bit more intense than I would like. There we go, now we're on fire. Level up. Come on, go down. Yeah, I bet you wish you could walk fast now. Old hag. Come on, pressure on! Keep the pressure up, icy boy! Rock man, go! Nice job, Rocky. We've successfully killed all the grandmothers in this cave. Mission accomplished. Retirement home cleared. Retirement home purged. That sounds like a postal mission. Purge the retirement home. Uh, there's a chest here. Oh, enchanting table. Nice. We're at 53 enchanting. I didn't realize we got it up that high. I know we bought a good amount of training. I didn't realize we were in the 50s. Amulet of RK, gold, more lockpicks. Steel scorching. Can we disenchant? Oh, yeah. That's the good stuff. Give me disenchantments all day long. Silver ore. Yeah, I should pick up the silver ore. Because we're going to need to get some jewelry. Before anybody in chat says it, yes, you can mine in Skyrim by just hitting the rock. Hold on one sec. Oh, hold on. Wait. Hold on. My phone made a random noise. I was like, what the hell is that? Has anybody ever heard of this social media app called Be Real? I started I started uh, using it because of my friends. Oh no, I thought it was telling me I got a post. It's like I only have like twelve friends on it, so it's relatively like small. But like the app updates every day and like notifies you, and you have to like post a picture of yourself in the moment, whatever you're doing, and you can't view any of your friends' posts until you post. So I have fun with it. I thought it was asking me to post. I was gonna say like, Chet, you're gonna be in this picture, but. No, it wasn't telling me to post. Drop the username? Nah. No, I, I like what I like about it is. So Instagram is just TikTok now and it sucks like it's it's TikTok, but significantly worse. It's it's TikTok, but it doesn't give you videos that you would actually want to see. And I never see my friends' pictures anymore. I want it when I use Instagram, I want to like scroll and see, oh, this person got engaged or this person got married or this person got a promotion at their job or, oh man, I'm old as fuck. This kid's playing t-ball now? Shit, last time I saw him, he was, you know, in diapers. I don't know, I want to see stuff like that. I don't want to see TikTok reposts and screenshots of tweets, but that's all Instagram really is and that's all it shows me. But so I like I like I like this app because like any of my like closest friends like I want to see I don't want to see the dolled up, you know, pristine picture. I mean, everybody wants to take a good picture, right? There's absolutely nothing wrong. And I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with taking a nice picture where you look good. You feel good. Hell yeah. Take a picture. Kings and queens of the world. Take a picture and post that. But like, I don't know, I like when I check this and I go, oh yeah, my sister's just watching Netflix. 
That's pretty real. <laughs> All right. Same, <laughs> you know? So I, I like it. But anyway, but I digress. 5.50 p.m. We still have six hours before we get to be at our secret cabin meeting place. Might not be a bad opportunity to try and cook some food or sleep somewhere out here. This camp up here is a good option. I can't believe we cleared that cave. Three hag ravens? That's not a super easy encounter on legendary. I think we should be proud of what we've accomplished here. I'm still terrified one of those traps is going to kill me. All right, let's wait until 11 p.m. We'll get our level up. Hopefully we don't teleport. Shit, we're not at archery 80. I'm going to save the perk. Go figure, we teleport. Uh, I, I've been here before, but I don't really appreciate how far away it's taken me from where I need to be. Now, them does he speak? Not north. I need to be moving south. I've never had it teleport me two times in a row. Usually I can go three or four sleeps without teleporting. Two in a row is a bit frustrating. The, so the water on those teleport locations does not count towards the debuff. If you weren't here on earlier streams, we picked up a quest from Talmithrin. I keep Neloth. We got it from Neloth. Right here. And the quest he gives you, he actually gives you a 25 point health boost. And says just wait, await side effects. See if any side effects hit you. But... I've been avoiding water the whole time because if you touch water, that's when side effects happen and you lose the health buff. So I'm going to try as long as I can to avoid water in this run just because it'll help me out. But the water in these little, whatever they're called, monuments, the water in the monuments, it doesn't actually cause the debuff. I was reading chat. Cultist? I thought I cooked I thought I took care of this cultist like two weeks ago. How the hell are they still alive? Piss off. Stop being so mobile. Oh man, he is zooming. She is zooming. Oh, come on, dick. Hey. Hey. Look at me. Look at me. You know what you did. And you know that's not cool. We have talked about this. I'm the main character. Not... Not you. Magicka regenerates 75% faster. Hmm. That's hot. I am not even going to cap, kids. Bad boy, no treats today. No, he's less of a dog and more like a little brother. That's how I view our relationship. Where are we on in the map? All right, we're getting closer to the decent weather. Warming up. Razorback. Or Ridgeback? What are they called? I was thinking of the college football mascot.
Bristleback. We should hit level 80 really soon here. Colonoscopy. See, now that's what letting me do my job. That's what it's all about. Not you showing up and just, <laughs> you big oaf. He's growing on me though. I was, I was frustrated with him the first couple streams, but he really is starting to grow on me. He's big, he's dumb, but he gets the job done. Oh, that almost hit. Twelve twenty a.m. Ooh, we gotta hurry up. I want to start this quest. Gotta be somewhere over here, right? Uh, it's further east, west, further west of us. Remember this place? Yeah, that's where we met the poor sap who <laughs> was ousted by his lover's family. Poor guy. I feel for him. Jump the river. It was just over this hill. I need a book. I'm going to bookmark this camp right here. I think this is a great camp at the halfway point. Quest marker. All right, hold on. We just got a quest marker for it, right? No, there's no quest marker. It just says to meet there at midnight. Crap, now I'm forgetting where it was. Oh, found it. I don't trust it. Who the hell? Are... Is it a white run guard? Hello, good sir. Yes. What have you got for sale? Who are you? Where do you get your goods? Okay, this has to be Creation Club, right? Take a look. He's just a hidden vendor. That's cool. He's only available a certain time of day. Ebony Bow. Oh, I remember somebody mentioned this. Somebody left a comment on the VOD channel. This is vanilla? Really? This is vanilla? I had no idea that this was here. That's awesome. This is a cool little feature. Fire salts. I, I would hope that a lot of this inventory is, is static. But what can I sell? I see I need to save my heart stones because I want to be able to summon the big badass one whatever it's called some of this stuff I think I can get away with selling I have to free up some weight somehow not a lot in there that warrants it He's also supposed to sell the glass bow of the stag prince. He equips it. Safe travels. So he has a very good bow equipped. Is what you're telling me. Instead of selling it, he he autom oh that's funny. He automatically pulls it out of the inventory and equips it instead of selling it. There's a quest with gemstones where you kill him. <clears throat> oh, and he's essential. Okay, so you probably have to you probably have to reverse pickpocket him. Or no, you just need pickpocket 100. Okay, I thought that was going to be a quest. Let's go do let's start clearing out some of the preliminary content. I'm going to go to the cave where the blood skull blade quest is.
and just do the initial opening act of it before the ending. Or I just go into this giant pit and see what happens. This scares me. I think this place is frightening. Anything Dwemer. Oh, we could start the excavation. That's a good idea. I think the first couple phases of the excavation are pretty easy. So let's do that. We're going to go back to town. We'll make some money. We'll start the excavation. I'll buy some alchemy training. Maybe we'll work on crafting some alchemy potions. Buying as many salt piles as I can to continue making said potions. Look how em this this portion of the map is so empty. If anybody remembers from the first two streams, I mean, it was chaos. Every single trip where we had to go from Raven Rock to the mushrooms, I didn't know if I was going to survive. So now being at the point where I'm just confident, I just walk across it. It's going to happen, huh? Not shit. Not even, not even a, woo, a little bit. Still afraid of heights, but... You know, I own this land. This land is my land. This land is my land. It is not your land. You stupid. Uh... I don't want to insult just this random guy. Can we slide him down? I want to see if he gets momentum if he'll slide down the hill. Close enough. Am I allowed to abuse Netch Jelly? For what? What does Netch Jelly do? A lot, a lot of people are asking if we've completed different quests. We have not completed, like, any quests. I work for Mogul. You got a oh yeah, I haven't used Netch Jelly to cancel fall damage. I'm too afraid to try it. Because if it doesn't work or I do something stupid and I mess it up, I'm dead, well, runs over. Let's sate that appetite, hmm? No, no food. Give me a bed Welcome then. To the retching... Sure thing. It's yours for a day. I'll show you to your room. Right this way. Come back any time. Just to uh just to reiterate, in case people don't really remember, when this character dies. We're probably taking a break from Soul's time for a bit, if this character dies. But I think I'm starting to lean towards putting the first several streams. Like this stream right now, hello, hi. Combat. Let's go, let's go, round up the troops, boys. Come on, we got soul gems to fill. Let's go, let's go. Get on the factory line. Wonder attack, once again, if you have not been here before, this is the daily invasion of <laughs> of Ash Spawns. If you can tell, we've killed quite a lot of them, and because Skyrim, they are not despawning. Their piles just litter the entire battlefield. It's quite funny, to be honest. But they make for great target practice and loot. It's hard to keep track of their piles, though, when they die. Oh, yeah. Oh, my. No, no, no. Wait. Oh, that's bad. I gotta get out of town. I gotta leave. I gotta leave. I gotta leave. I did not realize the exploding arrow would give me a bounty. Oh my gosh. Thank the Lord that the ash spawns were still there distracting an entire army because they are pissed off at me. And I can, that's a fight I absolutely cannot win. They gotta leave me alone, please. 
It was an accident. It was an accident. That's ridiculous. I don't want to take any risks because I, I, my guess is the explosion injured so many guards. My surrender might not have gotten them to take me to jail. I've had surrenders not work in this game before. And, and plus they're already engaged in combat. See, the, there goes an arrow. Whew. If this is how the run ends, I might cry. Damn it. It's always a really good opportunity to make easy money in XP is that little encounter. Uh, at least we're in the area we can start the excavation. Toby, how are you? Thank you. Thanks for stopping in. How was your Sunday today? Might have to attack and then surrender again? I mean... It it has to be in pretty controlled circumstances for me to be willing to take that risk. Do you have the gold? Do I have the gold? Come on. It's all here. Yeah, I'm one of the richest investors in all of Raven Rock. It only took me like... What day are we on? Yeah, 19 days. It took me three weeks. Why don't I get a mage's backpack for the Magicka boost? I've invested more skill points into Magicka to compensate and I'm using the backpack for stamina. I think stamina is the last line of defense. Um, so I'm, I'm keeping the stamina backpack for now. I like it. I think it's good to have an automatic little boost to stamina that I don't have to think about and that I won't ever have to change. So it's like having one piece of my loadout that's just consistent. That's why I like it. So let's wait an hour. <clears throat> <clears throat> Poke my head back into town. Hopefully they just run up to me and arrest me. I'll pay the fine. We'll move on. We'll part ways amicably. Or I could drop down into the city like I'm Batman. <laughs> Superman land right in the middle of the market. It would be so cool, they'd have to let me go. The whole town is hot. The whole town's hostile. This is not good. This is really, really bad. Why is the store turned on me? Is it... Is it cheese to load my save? I feel like on a permadeath run, any kind of save scumming is cheese, right? <clears throat> Go to sleep for three days. Three days? Three days? I have to live off of the land and butterflies I catch? Actually, I caught a lot of monarch butterflies. These are all restore health. Look at all that gold ore. How did I not find this before? All right, I can survive out here. Three days. No big deal. There's not a lot for me to fight. There's not a lot for me to do. But I think three days I can make it. I'm not gonna lie, I am nervous. Check how high my bounty is. Largest bounty, 40. Total lifetime bounty, 41. Yeah, I'll say it, I'm officially scared. 
I gotta get some food. Is that a cooking pot up here? No. It's a burning log. I need to go back to that camp. I guess I could poke my head back in into the fort. I want to say that this is a cave entrance too. Maybe I could check out the back entrance. Or will the back entrance just go right to Falk's Carius? High Point Tower. We might have explored this before. And learn there's not a whole lot here. Yeah, that's a dead end. Yeah, we definitely checked out this tower. Not a ton going on. <clears throat> hey, at least we know our friends at the Mushroom Kingdom don't hate our guts. That's one positive. If the town of Raven Rock is forever isolated from me, then I guess I'll just have to kill everyone in town. So they're pissed off at me in Raven Rock because I shot an explosive arrow right into a big group. It automatically equipped and I should have adjusted. I should have put it away. I should have known that it was going to damage all the guards, but it damaged all the guards that were surrounding an enemy, thus making me the guards enemy. And they're very mad. They're upset. They don't want due process. I don't get to plead my case. <clears throat> all right, we'll try in here one more time. Hopefully my arrows actually hit. I'd like to not get screwed out of XP here. Holy shit, that was close. Thank you, kind sir. I mean, what? Do I have to shoot at his knees? Like this is the hitbox? Clearly the hitbox up top ain't working, but this one is consistent. There we go, archery 80. Stay down. Atta boy, Rocky. Way to fight for the cause. Thank you, kind sir. Oh, now we're over encumbered again. Always over encumbered. <clears throat> Pantha, thank you so much. Five months. Comrade, thank you for five months, both of you. That's ten months combined. <clears throat> I cannot clear my throat right. Time out. Give me two seconds. Okay. Encumbrance isn't too bad. It's, I think it's a good limiting mechanic. It makes things interesting when you have to choose what to keep and what to throw away. Right, right, right. <laughs> Accidentally British. I didn't even get a chance. I'm an, <laughs> I'm a nice lockpick, but. It only it only lets the douchebag lockpicks. Never mind. <laughs> Stupid joke. Conjure Storm Atronach. That could be useful. 
a free summon in the middle of a fight. Definitely want to save that. What I really need to find are salt piles. That would be the best outcome here. Nordic bow. It's worth 580. How long has he just been chilling up here? Dead center. No summon required. See, that's the advancement we're making. Oh, shit. I know you'd have friends. Didn't realize he was such a popular guy. No one behind me? No one behind me. Always gotta check. The flank is my worst fear. No, 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 no. What? It... Rocky, get out there and do your job. Is this crusty fuck really dodging my arrows? Got him. I can carry five more pounds. Kind, sir. You. Kev Kev. Thank you for five months. That was a, that was a handful of five months in a row. I appreciate y'all. Falk carries it to my right. He's in that big room. That was close. I guess not super, super close. I just want to avoid taking melee damage. Fire damage we can block. Oh, Alright, I can still get shots in. Beautiful. 81. Still moving up the archery ranks. Slowly but surely, moving our way towards greatness. Two more. Add them to the death chart. Three more pounds. Spiders that way. Master lock with a chest that is. Oh, salt pile. Yes, thank you. I needed salt pile. We gotta be careful here. We gotta be really careful. I think there's a dragon word somewhere in here. This is terrifying. I needed that stumble. That perk is amazing. I didn't realize how clutch that that perk would be with archery, making enemies stumble, I think, 50% of the time. Such a good perk. No.
No! What do I drop? What do I have to drop? Ebony boots of major stamina. When did I find ebony boots of stamina? What? When did those come into play? I don't want to get rid of my frost resistance. But that's a lot. 40 stamina. Amazing. When did I start finding this much dope shit? Okay, that's my weight limit. Cannot take any more loot out of here. But I can't go back to Raven Rock to offload it because everyone hates me. All right, this is prime real estate for getting jumped. We have the key. Maybe I have books that are weighing me down. One book. A scroll. Thank you, kind I have sir. some venom that I'm not really using, but I want to hold on to it because I might need it at some point. Be proud. Thank you very much. Skull Village, they don't hate me. There, there's not. I don't think there's a lot that I can do at Skull Village. They don't have vendors. I could sell it to that guy at midnight, Blake. That's actually a good idea. Good call. What time is it now in game? Eldari's journal. I think this is where we just get some lore, some exposition on what this guy is doing here. All right, I'm going to leave for now, but we'll come back. We need to go to the midnight vendor, sell off our stuff. Clear up our inventory, get rid of some weight. But, you know, it's not just that. I need to hit... I don't just need a vendor. I need a... What's the thing where you shovel it in? Why can't I think of it? A smelter. And it has been suggested a few times to go to the Skull Village. Which I've never used as a hub for crafting or anything, but I think we're going to do that. Let's make a run over to the Skull Village from here. It's not too far. I think we can handle it. A little bit of cold we'll have to deal with. Can we do a sub goal where you have to wear something funny for a stream? <laughs> uh, maybe in the future we could. I don't know what I would wear, though. I'm not huge on like dressing up or doing ridiculous things on camera even though when i first started streaming i would wear this really really stupid outfit that is an emote <laughs> yes i did used to wear that and i thought it was peak comedy i just stepped in water am i gonna die am i gonna combust and explode yeah that one Do I know Doug Doug? No, never heard of him. <laughs> I'm just playing. Yeah. He makes fucking awesome stuff. A great creator, a very talented person, very funny person. Very divorced. I think this is the usual route that I take to the Skull Camp. Actually, I don't have a route to the Skull Camp. Get a shirt with James Corden's face on it. You guys, I... What? Ah. Uh, goblins. Talkative goblins, die. <laughs> I forgot that they were here. Oh, they aren't shit. What's up, goblins? This is your best? This is why you lost at Mordor. Actually, they're closer to hobbits than they are goblins. So they kind of won, right? I'm not too familiar with Lord of the, L Lord of the Rings lore. Skull Village should be right down this little seam. We follow it through. We'll 
probably run into a couple of ice wolves. So let's just make sure I have a quick spell that I can throw up. I need a fast tank. Yeah, there's two wolves up there. So let's just see if we can clear them out now. What are you shooting at? Oh! That's bad. That's really bad. Ice race will fuck our life up. Okay, if I can hit a critical on it, it does good damage. But they're so hard to hit. Shit. Ah! No, 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 no. Go, 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 go. Get over. Okay, we're chilly. I'm gonna need to throw down another tank behind me. Fuck. The wolves caught up too quickly. Ice Wraith is almost dead. We can break this encounter, though. Let's get down here. Okay. Oof. There I go again. I, you know, I, I, I promised myself I would try to stop saying no, 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 no. But I just can't help it. It's my trauma response. Kill that wraith. Yeah, Rocky! Fuck him up, Rocky! Yo, yo, back up! Back up! I don't know where the fuck you get off thinking you could follow me down this mountain. Being all invisible and hard to hit and shit. Okay, he's almost got him. Come on, Rocky, I need you here. Thank you, Rocky. All right, the ice wolves are still mad at us. Okay, hot mama, please do your job correctly this time and only target the individuals I want you to target. I just gotta make sure one of them doesn't air raid jump on top of me. There you go, wolf down. Okay. Ooh, I was scared there for a second. Thought we were toast. We're not. We're very much alive. Barely. That was a group of three wolves, actually, not just two. That whole thing could have been avoided if I was able to just hit maybe one or two consecutive shots on the Ice Wraith. But we're alive. Oh my god, the goat can climb trees! He's too powerful to be left alive. Nice shot, genius. Alright, we're at the village. I'm going to try to shoot this goat and accidentally hit one of the villagers. Then they'll all be mad at me. Or not. Ooh. Getting over it? I don't know if I could play getting over it. I don't know if I would enjoy it. Maybe I would. Whoa, I wasn't ready for that much. Hell yeah. 
Do I have any skins? I do. I have one. See, just by doing that, we were able to cut out 19 pounds. We were overweight by 19 pounds. That's too much. Got some good smithing XP. We'll leave it at that. That's all stuff that I can enchant and sell. I need to get... Mm, I should have enchanted there. Should have tried to soul trap one of the wolves. Three home cooked meals. We got our warmth back. There's a child here. Why are you in this village? <laughs> like, I feel like they should have tried to find you a home that wasn't being surrounded by a wind hurricane or not wind hurricane. Hurricanes are naturally windy by a snow hurricane. A blizz cane. What time is it? 7 p.m.? Let's work our way back down south now. Try to find the midnight vendor. Midnight vendor, sell out all of our stuff. Go back to that one fort. Although there's some bandits down here I want to clear out. There's a lot of bandits. Oof. Okay, this could be tough. I'll let you live this time. Oh wait, they forgave me? But they they didn't forgive Rocky. No, Rocky. Maybe those those might be good people. Oh, they're friendly. Well, it seems like they forgave me, but they need to kill my rogue Rocky. Sorry, sorry, everybody. I, 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 it was a misunderstanding there, folks. Hey, why don't we start over? Why don't we start over? Sorry, friends. I can't make anything for you down here. I'll need to get back to my fort. Look, they're even calling me friend. They're even calling me friend. I don't even want to think about what those creatures are doing with my. Boo holds life. retreat. Got any meat? Is there anything that would make being down here more bearable? Well, the easy answer, of course. Mead! Actually, now that I think of it, I have been missing the Ashfire. It's a special brew that we make at Thirsk. If you could somehow get up there and grab a bottle, I'd be a long way towards forgetting how- Okay, so they get hammered. That's actually pretty realistic. That's how Wisconsinites survive. How do you make it through the day? Bear. Spotted cow. All paths lead to stealth archer. Right. This one, uh, yeah, while we play it safe, we're kind of forced into it. You've never been a stealth archer? That's impressive. Uh, I'm not really interested mm -hmm. in you, Elmo. I'd rather hang out by the warmth. I didn't know you guys had this cool little camp here. I feel so welcome. Hay pile owned. Owned? It's a hay pile. I don't really have time for this. Come to mock our shame like the others? Yeah, what happened to these people? I'm a, all right, I'm interested now. What's going on here is that we've been kicked out of our home. The mead hall up there on the hill. We were some reeklings have taken it over. Yeah, how the hell did they lose to him? Even I can beat Reeklings. With tenacity and numbers. It didn't help that we'd grown a little too comfortable up there. Too much mead. Too many stories. Too few battles. Are you... Some new blood should be enough to rouse these layabouts to actually fight again. Yeah, that sounds fun. I love killing goblins. Although, well, I don't think I want to kill them. I definitely want to help the goblins. If I have to choose between these jamokes and the goblins, I'm 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 taking the goblin side. Hey, you lazy milk drinkers, get over here. I know you're all starting to settle in here and keep up the fat lives you've got used to up in the hall. But look here. This outsider has more fire than any of you. 
Yeah, damn right. It's about time. Finally, somebody in this place respects me. That's right. Yeah, me. And my friend, my rocky friend. Oh, wait. Oh, we can't help the goblins anymore? <laughs> I didn't want to murder the goblins. I feel bad about this. I thought I'd have the option to reverse this choice. How can I save the goblins? I think it might be too dangerous for me to try and betray them now. I've made my choice. I must stick with it. The goblins must die. This has to be a choice that like 10% of people do. The vast majority of people definitely side with the goblins. Look at that, there's no way I win this fight. What is that, a Nord axe? Yeah, they have high level gear. I would have been fucked. What was that? What was that? What do you think it is? What do you think we're here to fight? Charge men! We must take back our booze. I'm tired of living in South Wisconsin. See, now I feel bad. Like, come on, guys. This. Come on. Sorry, buddy. May you rest in peace. Ew. Look, ugh. Nah, he's. He's. They're not really cute. If they, if they were more cute, maybe I would feel a little bit less bad. But now that I've gotten to see him up close and personal. Ho, 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 ho. Oh my god, this could be it. I have to use my emergency potion. I'm leaving. See ya. Ugh, fucker. Don't follow me out. Back off. Is there any potion I can take that might protect me on my way in? Not too much. Oh my fucking god. One hit out of a loading screen, and this is where we're at. There's no way it ends here. I mean, if it ends here, it's almost like I deserve it, but I'm gonna feel so cheated. All my health potions are gone. We'll take the true shot potion. Let's get ourselves a tank. Get behind some cover. Break their line of sight, rotate around a little bit. Holy fuck, there's so many goblins. And of course, naturally, I'm hitting my own teammates. I'm sorry, goblin friends. I wanted to be cool with you. I just have no choice. I made a mistake. I feel like we might lose this battle. Oh, <laughs> this is just mass murder. That's right, Reeklings. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome to colonization. You proud of yourselves? Huh? Did we lose any men? We didn't lose a single one. They don't really have much loot on them worth taking. That was almost exhilarating. How are you feeling? I feel terrible. We just we just executed an entire society. That was easy. <laughs> that different. Eh, actually, wasn't even a sweat. Good to hear. That was close. I thought we were going to lose it. Just the spirit I'll need from my second. Do you want to come with me? Your what? Yeah, your second. My second. If we're going to take up residence here again, I need to get the blessing of Rothmund again. I'll need a witness and, well, 
You see the kind of horker brains I deal with around here. What do you say? Yeah, I don't mind. Your friends do seem really stupid. I mean, this guy looks like he wants to fight me. Well, let's not waste time talking about it then. All right, let's go see your second. Meet Boo Yold at Hrothman's Barrow. Can I just not meet her there? Because I feel like that's going to rope me into a quest that's way too difficult for me. Oh, I feel so bad, but I do get to sit in this cool... Th I can't sit in the throne? What was this all for then? We did all that. We just decided to genocide the goblins, and I can't even sit in the throne. Look at this. I need to make a save here. <laughs> I have to get a save here. Because some B-roll shots of all these dead goblins. Are you just, are you guys just not going to go celebrate? Okay. All right. You know what? Fine. Take your home. I don't need it. I need to get to the midnight vendor. That's like the most Skyrim way for this adventure to develop. All I wanted to do was get to the village and smelt some of my ores, get rid of some carry weight that I've been uh, hauling for a while. And instead I almost get killed by wolves and an ice wraith and I go through that whole nonsense. Then I accidentally attack those idiots. Oh no, they're actually not bad. They're, they're pretty chill. Then I accidentally get roped into a plot to genocide the goblins who took their home from them. That's a dragon. I think the midnight vendor's right around the mountain here. That was scary. I thought I thought we were going to die from full damage. Come on, where are you? Midnight Vendor! Hold on, is that a pendant? How did I miss this pendant? Right here, hell yeah. Hell no. The battle with these fucking lockpicks every stream, I swear. Be a lot cooler if you showed up and did your job! Now I have to go back to town where I'm not sure if they're gonna greet me warmly or try to put an arrow through my eyeballs. Or like when we were doing the randomizer stream, those mages, they just put their palms with flames right into my face. Fingers crossed. I think enough time has passed, right? You need to be outside of the cell for him to spawn. Okay. All right, we'll come back tomorrow then, I guess. Or we'll just see and pray that hopefully the town doesn't try to execute me. I have to sleep anyway, so... We'll head back to that, uh, we'll head back to that quest after this. We'll check the town. If they're all still hostile, then we'll turn Thirsk Mead Hall into a hub. If we're able to turn it into a hub and there's vendors and whatnot, that would be perfect. I won't complain about losing Raven Rack. I mean, I'll complain a little bit, but I guess it makes me look forward to eventually taking out the entire town of Raven Rock. I mean, it, it, if I'm going to colonize the Reeklings, why in there? Come on, no red dots, no hostile. 
Be nice, everyone. I'm back, and I would like to apologize. Okay, so far so good. I still don't trust it though. Okay, they've made they've made contact with me. They can see me. Everything seems okay. Maybe we're good. Want to buy it? Absolutely. Here's your payment. Take a look. Okay, more cash. I think I'm going to hold on to the jewelry until I can enchant it. It's lightweight. It's an investment. But I can sell some of that. I probably shouldn't be selling all this ore, but I am. I'm going to get rid of some of it. Ebony boots of major stamina. I can disenchant that. Man, I really came back here to not sell a whole lot, didn't I? It's, it, the heart stones are taking up an extra 20 pounds as well. But I have nowhere to store them. You know where to find me. Looking for any potion? If you're looking for any... Take a look. Remember, I have plenty of potions and ingredients. Get a salt pile. Welcome to the wretching drink for the thirsty, food for the hungry. Salt pile. Orker loaf. Yeah, let's just get all the food we can from him. Easier to buy it. Then I can use the salt piles for potions. I'll make all my money back from it. Still playing as chicken stick? Yes. Turkey stick. Couple less calories. Yeah, I don't know how far away I am from doing a black book quest. I don't know what kind of damage the enemies there deal, how I'm going to have to prepare defensively. It scares me. Gonna admit. A little bit scared of it. Yeah, you're right. Maybe I can store it at Thirsk. Um, level 25. So let's do this next quest. How far do we have to go? Uh... <laughs> uh, I mean, this is an entire portion of the map that we have not discovered, which means there's going to be a lot of enemies on the way there to completing this quest. Completing the quest itself might be easy, but I don't think it's going to be easy getting there. We're going to audible. I'm going to go give... General Fox carry us a run for his money. I've got poisons. I still have a plentiful healing potion. I still have a potion of ultimate well-being. 3,000 gold. Do I have, I have, yeah, I have one potion of magic, but the potion of ultimate well-being can restore all my magic. How did I go the wrong way this badly? Where am I going? The excavation's probably done, or at least part one of it is. Let's do, let's do this. Let's do the excavation. Uh, no, it is not ready yet. We've got a crew on it. They're not sharp. But they're, they're not sharp, but they're working hard. Same. I can get behind that attitude. That's basically what this whole entire run is. That's basically what most of my videos are. 
dying in the book just sends you back to real life unharmed. I would still think that in a permadeath run that ends it, right? What do you guys think? I think if my health is reduced to zero, then it's just over. So am I, am I hyped for Starfield? Yeah, absolutely. I'm excited to, you know, finally play it one day, but I'm not thinking about it too much until we get to, you know, the point where like, hey, it's coming out. Here it is. You'll have it in your hands in a month. I'm kind of waiting until we're in that like final countdown phase to start getting really excited for it and preparing for videos and challenges and stupid stuff. Finding a random ass planet and just saying, all right, we're not leaving. All that nonsense because when I was in here, I ran out of carry weight. Stop playing games with me. Stop it. Easy. Easy. Come. Fucking. Come on. I barely... Come on, come on, come on, come on, fucker, come on. Come on! Come on. Come on now. Play nice. There you go. See? Stupid ass door. I'm good at lock picking. Ooh, moon sugar. Don't mind if I do. Oh, no, 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 no. Somebody in chat earlier said, uh, Juve looks like the type of guy to wiggle his fingers and say, don't mind if I do. So fuck you, whoever said that. Warhammer of Ice. Elven Warhammer of Dread. That's pretty good. I can't afford to carry both of them. But it's good enough for me to take one. I know there's spiders in here. Aren't they like exploding spiders? Thank you, kind sir. Juvial brunch table entertainment today. I'm brunch table entertainment today for like more than one person? Or I mean, yeah, you can't really eat brunch solo, right? Because if you're eating brunch solo, that means I've had brunch solo a lot of times. Because, like, I'm a big advocate of if you want to make a waffle, but it's 2 p.m., fuck it, make a waffle. What is that? What is that? What is that? What is that? I hear crawling. Move, you dumb fuck. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, get away. No, no, no more crawling in my ear. Albino spider pods, a ruby geode. Are you sh Ru a ruby? Really? That's really good. Got to collect all the rubies I can. Oh, if it's one ruby per, that's underwhelming. I can't land in the water. Hopefully this doesn't cost me my... Hopefully I don't lose my buff here. There we go. There's probably more rubies down there. Okay, now in this next room, I know there's five or six uh ash spawns 
There's quite a few of them. I thought I grabbed the key. There's there's a few ash spawns in that next room, along with Fox Carius. I think his one hand. I think his warhammer will one tap me. I'm. I'm convinced. If I get hit one time by Fox Carius, this entire run is over. And anybody who has watched any portion of this run is going to probably be saying to themselves, "You're an idiot." Why would you take him on so early? And to that I say, because drama. Because I need to feel the intensity. I need, I need to feel like this run is two inches away from ending. And then I plant the final decisive arrow into his throat. Do I have healing items? I do. Am I playing with a stealth chart <laughs> or someone with bad knees? Both. Okay, the good news is we can clog up this hallway with an Atronach. The bad news is I have to call it in first. There's Falks. Is it worth it to get one sneak attack on him just so I can test and see what his health is like? I think so. Let's see what one sneak attack does. Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, we're doing some damage to him. But now he's too close. Okay, let's throw up our tank. Throw up our block. He's going to get, you know, killed fairly quickly, but he can block for a while. Okay, that was quick. He's already down. We gotta move. Out of magic already. I don't want to waste my well-being potion. We'll come back to this fight later. I'm a little bit more confident in that fight now than I was, you know, five minutes ago. It would be nice if I had them all out here. I think I could probably win the fight. But I'm going to need some restore magic potions. I'm going to start spending my money on magic potions. Because if I can afford to continue switching between a summon and the bound bow, I'll be, I'll be most effective that way. I don't think he'll follow me all the way out. And, and I, I think you're right. He does. But I don't think he will if the Atronach is in there keeping them all distracted. So let's head back, see what kind of potions we can load up on. We should follow the hire the follower. No, we're not. Uh, we're not hiring followers. We're going solo. I think hiring a follower would take away from the spirit of this run. I understand, though, why, you know, people suggest it. But I think right now I'm at a point where the conjuration is already a crutch enough for me. You know, using them to tank, that just having an extra follower in there might make it a little bit too easy. Oh, I thought that last shot was going to get him. Oh man, that one was right on. Oh, I thought it was going to hit. It's like hitting a battlefield snipe. It's so satisfying when you watch it like arc. No, you're good, Zay. A lot of people might be catching this super late on, so, you know, people will probably suggest things that have been suggested a few times before and 
It's all good. It's the nature of it. You. Looking for any potions? So you're interested in my potions and ingredients? Potion of Magicka. Plentiful Magicka. You sell two? Two! Huh? Two. Gonna buy all the healing potions too. Remember, I have plenty of potions and ingredients if you're ever in the market. But I should be able to make my own. I found a lot of butterfly Thank wings you, and blue. Any primers. If you're looking for any exotic ingredients. Lingy, thank you for the prime. Any primers? Um, I'm not sure what you mean. But thank you. Salt pile, trauma root. Did I level up? I did. I need to go level up. Need something? So you're interested in my potions and ingredients? Remember, I have plenty of potions and ingredients. I know you have potions and ingredients. Do you have anything else? Want to buy anything or just laugh? I'd be on the first. Take a look. I'm going to take the cash for that, cash for the staff. Could I disenchant it and go for the XP? I could. Will I? You need any no. You know where to find Not right now. One more. All right, one more level up after this, and then we're done leveling up archery. Welcome to the wretched. Take a look. I can't believe my good friend Geldis would charge me for a room. Sure thing. It's yours. I'll show you to your room. I've worked so hard. Just give me the place permanently. Come on. I think next level I'm going to take stamina. Damn, that has to be at 90. So I can't take an archery perk right now. All right, no archery perk. Fine by me. I got to wait till level 90 with it. We can hit enchanting... But should I start taking alchemy? I probably should take alchemy because at some point I want to make health potions. Like I want to be able to just automatically heal myself a ton. Heal my health, my magic. I want to be able to do all that. Paralysis potions, that's a great idea. I would assume he's resistant to it. I feel like most bosses have built in resistances to stop them from fighting the player, but... If she has a paralysis poison, let's try it. No, no paralysis right now. I should not... I don't know if I should be selling these. The poison of slow. It's really good. Like, thinking about it, and kind of reflecting on it, I probably should be using that, because if I can slow down enemies, then I can get off a couple more shots. Those shots are going to slow them down even more, because it's going to make them stumble. So I'll be able to create even more separation between myself and an enemy. And I'm talking, that would be in a moment where, let's say I'm completely out of magic, I'm out of potions, I have to switch to my elven bow, which is much weaker than the summoned bow. Then I start using those po potions. He is not immune to paralysis. Okay. You think I have the ingredients for paralysis? Well, let's go check. No harm in running back, right? We've ran back to town enough times. Yeah, chat, I'm, I'm going to need your help. You guys are going to be my stack overflow, my cheat sheet for alchemy right now. Let's just take a look at all the ingredients I have and see what we can make. Because I don't really want to open up a, a tab right now and uh, put together 
or just search every single ingredient individually. Hold on. I'm legally obligated to help defend the town every time they get attacked. It's in my contract. I love that animation. I feel so cool every single time. Nope. Put the fire arrow away, dipshit. Damn, where did he die? His dead body went flying all the way back here. And another ruby. That was huge. I needed to capture a soul there. So I'm going to go in. Yeah, let's let's just enchant one of these necklaces, sell it for a ton of cash. We're going to need it if we're going to start buying a lot of potions, which most of my money I plan on spending on potions and training. It's just good in general. Let's, we just have to make gold. Vendel Severin. The player house. The player house does have planting pots. I think I need to take out Falx Carius though before I can get access to the house. I think it's a prerequisite. So we're moving in the right direction by trying to take out the general. Stamina regenerates 30% faster. When did I find this? Stamina regenerates 30% faster or 30% more fire resistance. Both are so good. I'm going to disenchant the stamina resistance because I need fire regen right now. Fortify rest. Take that as well. Good XP. I think two-handed has the most value. Fortify two-handed. Yeah, that makes it the most expensive. Uh, I think it does have plant pods, this house. I think they're in here. Does that count as one? Are you able to update that one? and replace it. You might not be able to replace it. That, that does look like the only one. Checkpoint Bob there. I only had one left. I had one fire arrow left. They are really cool and I love using them, but just having the one that it kept trying to equip wasn't worth it anymore. Want to everything I've got on display, really. Oh man, he's out of money. If you need any supplies, welcome to Raven Rock Traveler. Could I interest you in any fine ash groceries? I don't think I want to go back to the fort just yet. I think I want to hang out in town for a little bit. Let's wait until tomorrow. In game, tomorrow. Hit the market again, buy a few more potions, sell the necklaces we just enchanted for whatever money or necklace and one ring. It's really not a ton of money. It's, it'll be like 350 cash. So let's go back to our roots, huh? It's been a while since we've fished. Now I can hang out. I appreciate it, Mark. Thanks for watching. How are you? How's, uh, um, or how was, how was God of War? 
I mean, I know you're a huge fan of it, but I've never really been into the God of War series. Nets jelly, imp stool, human flesh, canis root, swamp fungal pod. So I think I've found Nets jelly, of course. It's a bit rare, though. Canis root, I want to say I have some. Welcome to another relaxing fishing stream. I'm your host, Turkey Stick. And these are the soothing sounds of an ash storm playing over you as you slowly cast your line. Watch the ripples in the water as they occasionally white cap as the glimmer of an arctic grayling's scales reflect off of the sunlight. Oh damn it, that song ended. It was like 20 seconds. <laughs> Ever considered video slash streams on Dark Souls and Elden Ring? I have. Absolutely, I have. Um, not really. It's not really time for me to get into that yet. I never ended up beating Elden Ring. I, I got really, really far, and I just ran out of time, and I couldn't keep playing it. I've never been a Souls player. I played a little bit of Dark Souls 2, and or no. No, I've never played Dark Souls 2. The only Dark Souls I played is the remake of the original, and I absolutely loved it. I was having a really good time with it. But I did, I really, really loved. The, I, I almost have no complaints at all about Elden Ring. Elden Ring is like the first game, literally since Skyrim, that when it came out, everyone was playing it. Everyone was talking about it. Everyone like was talking about the things they were finding and taking screenshots and sharing cool stories and strategies and the ways they were playing the game. And it really, really reminded me of when Skyrim first came out. Of course, Skyrim isn't like Elden Ring, where everyone is kind of working together to try and beat these really tough bosses and whatnot, but the way people were talking about it and sharing it was very similar. And plus, you know, playing Skyrim for the first time, when you first go to Blackreach, and it's like that amazing holy shit like this is the coolest thing i've ever seen that's what elden ring was like but for the entire game it will, what's the place in elden ring does anybody remember in elden ring there's a forest it's 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 near one of the starting areas and there's like an elevator and if you activate the elevator it slowly takes you down underground and it's like this underground luminescent wondrous fairy tale land that's also scary it was like the most amazing i like stood there and i was like oh my god this is the coolest fucking thing i've ever seen it was like and and that kind of thing was happening in elden ring on the first playthrough it was like every it was like every 20 minutes there's you could if you stop and just stare in Elden Ring, like 80% of the angles, it looks like a painting. So cool. So awesome. Like, I would love to just shake the hand of the artists who somehow, like, you'd have to have the most magical brain to whatever combination of neurons and things have to fire off in your head <laughs> to draw some of that shit. It's like, it was so cool. The lifts in Mistwood Forest. It would be pretty cool if, if they did more with Blackreach, but I think Blackreach just does a, a good job for what it is. You know, it's a somewhat near the end game on your first playthrough where you think, gosh, there's no way that this game can get any bigger. And then you end up in Blackreach for the first time, and it's like, whoa. Now, after I recorded the video where we tried to play Skyrim without ever leaving Blackreach, the charm of it certainly waned very quickly. Yeah, I don't, I don't blame you, Biscuit. I, I definitely, there were at times where Elden Ring had me ready to just put my head through the wall. Like, 
I don't care what anybody says. That it's a difficult game. They're all difficult games. And the you know the beauty of them and what makes them really fun and why people love them is because you're constantly growing going through a state of having to learn and i think people really love that i think people just love having a gaming experience in which they're learning new things or they're you know like that's a game you have to beat you know you finish skyrim you don't beat skyrim and it's actually arguable that you can finish Skyrim. But there's a point with Skyrim where you're like, I'm done. Elden Ring is a game you beat. You have to you have to conquer it. Morrowind Combat is more frustrating than Souls Game Combat. No, I, I don't think so. I actually I really enjoy Morrowind Combat. I love it. I think Skyrim on Legendary plays kind of closer to Morrowind Combat in the way that, you know, when you play on Legendary, you're forced to utilize way more skills. <clears throat> Where in Morrowind, if you're not playing with an absolutely broken build, I mean, even if you are playing with an absolutely broken build, I spend a lot of time in Morrowind, like, opening up my inventory and grabbing a potion and, you know, applying a potion in the middle of battle and kind of using a combination of skills to complete a tough encounter where as you move the difficulty up in Skyrim it kind of increases the number of skills you have to employ to win battles I would be surprised if there's anybody who can just play this game on legendary and go sword and board through the whole game that would be pretty impressive if they could that would require a lot of patience if you went heavy armor shield sword and nothing else on legendary that would be that would be pretty grindy bloodborne is the best game i've never i never had the chance to play bloodborne i would love to if they released it on pc at 60 fps i mean that's the biggest head scratcher of a game that hasn't even gotten a next gen patch yet just give it a next gen patch like i don't know Seems kind of dumb. And Souls games are... It, it seems like they just don't age. Thank you, kind sir. That bro, thank you for the prime. You are much appreciated and cooler than everybody else in chat for the next five minutes. Unless somebody else... <laughs> Unless somebody else fiscally supports me. Then they take the limelight and you are forever forgotten. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I I'm done. I'm done being mean to people who are kind to me. I think games that have a like core philosophy behind them like when you think about it all of Souls games kind of have a core philosophy behind them they all play similar they all look similar they all act similar they're all different in you know different ways <clears throat> and you could start at the beginning of the series right now and they haven't really aged a whole lot. Drink for the thirsty, food for the hungry. Most people would probably say that Morrowind has aged. I still think that Morrowind has aged beautifully. Um, but I, I think the same about, you know, Elder Scrolls games as well. They all... Okay, I, don't make fun of me, Gildas. I'm your number one customer. They all play similar. They all look similar in certain ways, but they're all vastly different. Um... Or, like, including Fallout as well in here. Just, like, games under the, like, Bethesda umbrella. They all kind of have a similar... thing. But they're all also different enough. 
I don't really even know the point that I'm trying to make anymore. I always do this. I talk myself into confusion. I don't know what I'm doing. Or I don't know, like Forza. Anybody in here a Forza player? Also, Malice, thank you very much. Randomizer has been updated and NPC pathing is fixed. You guys are incredible. I, I, I'm, I'm being completely honest. When I put out that video yesterday and I checked the Discord server and I saw that like 70 people had joined and people were talking about the mod and I don't know. I, I, I was, it, was, it was a very proud moment for me. So thank you to, you know, everyone. That was really, really cool to see. And who knows where it goes from here? Uh, DDM and I are really, really excited. I know what I want. Okay, we want to talk to her. We want to get some potions. No, I don't want to sell. Thank you, kind sir. Beside them are Aok Rock and Raven Rock. There are a couple of bandits that drop really good lot. Just be careful, they might be really strong. I'll keep an eye out. I appreciate it. I'm so sorry. I the I, I don't know if these are regular donations. I I really I really do appreciate it so much. I, I it doesn't show them to me and I have a hard time catching it. Let me see if I can check something real quick. One sec. I'm sorry about that. Nope, no 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 you're not supposed to see this. You're not supposed to see that <laughs> No. Um, oh. I, I went to go check my email and see if it popped up in there, but it hasn't updated yet. Usually it's delayed by a little bit. I'm, I'm, I'm really sorry. Whoever that was, message again. I actually disagree, Smith. I think that there's a lot of charm to Morrowind's visuals. I will say, uh that uh some of the mods now that extend the visuals like obviously just vanilla open morrowind is probably the best looking version but i saw a mod that adds like volumetric fog to the game and it looks really really cool zay thank you your mom's a big elder scrolls head and she saw my video <laughs> that's funny tell her i said hi Requires a new save to fix the pathing, sadly, but doesn't change how the seed functions. You completed the main quest as intended using COC commands on seed ones. That's awesome. to buy everything I've got on display really like I think this is just me personally if we're just talking about visuals I think I like Morrowind's visuals and art style more than Oblivion that's just me how are you already out of gold Fethis did you not restock overnight I thought we talked about this I thought we were you know gonna be cool and be on the same team and work together and you know, fight our inner demons. You know, have a bro moment. Cry it out. Guess not. You've betrayed me. If you need any supplies, you know where to find them. There are bandits near the Mirak Rock in Raven Rock. They drop really good loot. Just be careful, they might be really strong. It's part of the creation kit. Bandits over here? I took out a group of bandits around the corner, if you mean... Are you talking about over here? Blood Skull Barrow? This is the back door of Blood Skull Barrow. We actually cleared it out. We we took we took them out relatively easy. Okay, you don't mean over there. 
Oblivion's visuals are flawless. I, I'm not. I'm not saying bad. I actually think the the beauty of like Morrowind all the way through Fallout Four is that I think they all look great in their own ways. Uh, except for uh, when you go downtown in Fallout Four. I just not the biggest fan of that. Everything outside of downtown Boston in Fallout 4, though, is mwah. Oh, it is fucking gorgeous. When you go from playing Morrowind to then playing uh, Fallout 4, it's like, whoa. <laughs> it's like it actually catches me off guard sometimes when I go a really long time without playing Fallout 4. Like that initial phase when you first get out of the vault and you're jogging around, and you're like, oh my god, like, I'm moving and I can see the crease on my ass. This is, I'm not used to this. I'm used to like, I don't know, the awkward giant crotch in the underwear in Oblivion. I'm used to uh, goofy characters, the jagged chins and shoulders of Morrowind. I guess New Vegas and Fallout 3 kind of look the same, except it's just a different color filter on each one. You guys thought I was kidding when I said that uh, they come here a lot. Oh no. badass would that have been if I just take a break from kicking ass to shoot down a bird? I'm gonna have to make a compilation whenever I make this video of every single ash spawn fight. One moment. You look familiar. No, I don't. One moment. No, no, no. You didn't see my face. I was not here. I am not the dark elf you're looking for. Man, Halo Infinite really ripped off Solstheim's whole flow. Bar for bar. Come on. Man. Let me rock climb. Come on, player freedom, Todd. <laughs> See that jagged corner on the edge of that rock? What is there another attack? A double attack? No, this does not happen. We have never gotten a two for one special. Ladies and gentlemen, the first ever discount deal on Ash Spawn Murder. See, that's what that fire resistance we have will get you. The ash spawns can't touch me. They can dodge my arrows, though. I know, Jakuk. It's because it's the weekend. I'm able to get better European times when it's the weekend. Days pass. We're on 21? Man, how did I miss that? We're on day 9 plus 10. <laughs> Internet memes. Going to comment this on one of the bots, but the reason the piles aren't disappearing is because they only respawn after two days straight of not entering the cell with the ash. But because I'm not using fast travel and you're sticking close to town. Now that's funny. Well, now I don't want them to despawn. I want to see how they keep piling up. I really don't want them to go away. Near to the mountain, near the stone is where the jewelry is. 
I survived the poll. Wait, what's the poll at? I know we did a prediction, but I thought I did 30 days. We're only on 21. If I die within the next nine days, the non-believers are awarded. Okay. Zay, you're saying near the mountain, or near to the mountain, near the stone. Okay, mountain. Stone. I have been over here. Fireborn, how are you? Hello. Maybe it's up here, hidden away. This looks like a designed path. Yes, perfectly as intended. So the poll was, uh, we had everybody gamble a ton of points on. If I kill the general, the ash spawns won't attack the city anymore. Oh, what? That's my infinite, infinite uh, loot glitch. Zay, I'm not sure I see what you are referring to when you talk about this. Yeah, it might not have spawned in since we used console commands to get here. Some things could be slightly different. We're also at some point going to need to use a console command if we want to advance the storyline, because I think you have to have a certain portion of the main story completed. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. We'll probably just have to use set stage or force stage. I feel like there's different categories. There's glitches, which is the giant slamming its club down and the player flying 200 feet into the sky, arguably higher than that. There's exploits, which is... I'm trying to think of a general exploit. Okay, um, uh, wall glitching, right? Using a plate or a platter to glitch through a wall. That's an exploit. And then there's the fortify restoration loop, which I would call a cheese exploit. Like there's cheese exploits and then there's exploits. The exploits that give you potions that fortify your damage by 415,000 million percent. I think that's cheese. That's in the category of cheesy exploit. Nothing wrong with it. You want to play the game that way, play the game that way. It's there. It's there for a reason. It hasn't been patched out for a reason. Also, it hasn't been patched out because mathematically it would break uh, like every crafting buff that there is in the game. Let's get these potions favorited. I'm going to have an extra two bars of magicka to get through this fight. And the good news is as soon as I take out one of the ash spawns inside the fort, they're going to be killing my defender way slower. So I have to focus on just taking out any enemies possible. First come, first serve. It'd be nice, though, if I was able to get them in a position where... I could sneak attack, and they were distracted. Alright, here we go. Oh! 
Holy shit, they're close. Let's get them in this room as soon as possible. This is great. This is great. We want him first. There you go. There you go. Push it. Push it. Come on, buddy. Come on, Rocky. You got this, Rocky. Keep him stumbling. Push him into the corner. That's right. I'm going to stand. I'm so confident I'm going to stand and shoot you. That was an awful shot. Look at Rocky go! Hit him with the right hook. Get him stumbling. Off balance. Hold on, wait. I, I wanna, I wanna turn. Game over, folks. Oh, don't do me like that. Oh, we didn't even get to admire our kill. <laughs> Rocky's like, my time here is done. My job is complete. Summon me. <laughs> He's like, I go. Champion's cudgel. Too heavy for me to carry out of here. What am I carrying that's so heavy? Is it the potions? Like, come on. I know I want to train alchemy, but hear me out. I should not be carrying 30 pounds of ingredients. We'll put him on his dead body. We'll come back for it later. Where the fuck can I get that armor? This is like the coolest version of Imperial armor in the game. Thank you, I want sir. it. Like, I want that armor. Hatto, thank you for the prime. Canis root? Alright, I'm only going to take the critical ones I know I can do stuff with. For now. Just in case I lose it. And I guess the really valuable ones. Now I'm over encumbered. Piece of shit. Oh, it's because I have this sword. And because I have this bow. But the bow's expensive. I need to sell that bow. All right, we'll figure it out. Later. We've got to clear out the rest of this place. Don't want to mess around with this one too much. I can't even imagine going back to shooting arrows at normal speed. way to announce your departure from this plane of existence. Is it just me, or was that underwhelming as shit? But yeah, talk about fire resistance making us almost invincible through the DLC's first quote-unquote difficult encounter.
There is no way that's all the loot that was in this chest. Huh? I mean, Elven Gauntlet's only waste a pound, which is nice, but... Give me a break. There's still the portion of this fort where the spiders were at. I mean, the real reward is the champion's cudgel, which we can disenchant, can we not? Champion's cudgel can be disenchanted and it counts as chaos, right? I think it's a chaos enchantment. Hey, Ro. How you doing, Ro? Yeah, we went down there. Oh, no. It's going to get rid of my debuff. I'm not losing the debuff. Mm -mm. Not for anything. No. Not even for a steamy date with Miranda Lawson. Not happening. Who is Miranda Lawson, you might ask? <laughs> well, when I was 14 and a growing boy, just say Miranda Lawson in Mass Effect 2 had me acting up. <laughs> God, that game was awesome. You ever just like reflect and think about how Mass Effect 2 is just perfect? Perfect. I played that game so poorly my first time, I got everyone killed. Spoiler alert. I got the entire crew killed. And I just thought that's how it ended. I didn't know it was my poor decision making that led to that. <laughs> I, I was like, damn, they really just killed off everyone in this whole game. That's a crazy plot twist. And then I came to find out I did everything incorrectly. It just seems it's it just is really weird to me that you know I think I think unfortunately Mass Effect and Dragon Age even though they are supposedly not completely dead I just feel like that they were victims of EA making a huge shift towards focusing on free to play multiplayer and monetization that they just were like we don't need these fucking games anymore. Like, <laughs> you kidding me? Why would we? Why would we put effort into making something? Th that's what frust. What it's frustrating when, like, it was literally just abandoned because EA was like, you know, rather than chase something that's an artistic endeavor, let's just make basically a mobile game and put it on Xbox. I work for mobile. Want to buy it's it. way easier. What you see here. Like Apex Legends is a fantastic game. But let's be honest. If you need any let's supplies, be real. You know where to find me. It's a mobile game. Either Not totally. Take a look. In terms of like how they monetize it. It's like a mobile game. I don't know. I'm I'm very I'm kind of doomer when it comes to mainstream FPS titles right now. Like every single time I open one up. Hey, did you buy the battle pass? Bring your weapons and armor to me. I'll fix it up right. Make sure you, you know, make sure you spend 10 to $15 on content that we're going to take away from you in 120 days. Oh, why the fuck would I buy it? Well, you can make the game your part-time job. But then why am I paying for it? It's like, what, what? I'm gonna say it. Actually, I've said it a few times on stream and usually right before I say it every time I go, I'm gonna say it, but I'm gonna make this point again. Loot boxes were cooler. 
Straight up. Loot boxes were cooler. Dark, I agree. The progression system is shit in Halo Infinite. Um, and the sad part is, they still do battle passes better than like every other mainstream FPS because it doesn't expire, which is like, <laughs> all right, cool. I paid for the thing. Why does the thing go away? Why does the thing go? It, it, there's, there's not a, there's no, there's not a single compelling defense to an expiring battle pass. Like, I want to ask Andrew Wilson, the uh, suit and tie douchebag for EI. I want to be like, explain to me, please. What is the reason for an expiring battle pass? And and you know what they'll say? They'll say, well, we want our most dedicated players to have some exclusivity towards this. Just shut the fuck exclusive, huh? Do you know why we play games like this? Why they're fun? Because they're open and they're available to everybody and you can just access the shit. You just buy it and it's there and it's open enough to where they go, you know what? All right, we made the game, but now you fuckers can take control of the engine and go wild and make your own shit and put your own shit in the game. That's why I was so bummed when Halo came out and there was no Forge. I was like, what? If there's no Forge, then delay the game a year. There's no point in coming out with it right now. Like. Sorry. Sorry, end rant. And ran. I, I have to get it out of my system now because I'm tired of every time I play Call of Duty with my good friends, I spend half the time bitching about the battle pass. I'm sorry. And I apologize to my friends who I play Call of Duty with on occasion. The sad thing is, Call of Duty's a pretty good fucking game. It's fun. Plays well. The progression is really addicting. But the battle pass, like... Like, Call of Duty doesn't even have cool emblems and titles to chase for anymore. They're just not there. And I'm like, dude, where are the, where are the titles? Where are the cool challenges? Oh, they'll probably come out, like, and come out what? Come out, huh? No, they don't come out. They should just be there. Game's great otherwise. Oh, I really let him heal. I try. I, okay, that was really sad attempt at a 360. What the fuck is going on here? I'm telling you, something's going on. My arrows are just missing. Staff of flames. Da -da 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 -da. Wait, so what the fuck do I do now? Oh. Yeah, we took out Falk's Carius. <laughs> I gotta go back to town, turn in the quest. I actually accomplished something. Some person, I did see that they put Forge into the game, which, and, you know, to kind of further my point from before that they should have just delayed the game until it came out, is all the people that are using it are making really cool stuff. I don't know about Call of Duty games, but yeah, like Starfield, Fallout, Elder Scrolls, they're not going to be on PlayStation, which is definitely a bummer. Like, that's kind of just the nature of the business that I'm not a fan of. I hate exclusivity. Like, I'm an Xbox guy, man, but I mean, I want as many people to have access and ability to play Starfield as possible when it comes out. So that's definitely a bummer. I don't know why anybody looks at any game and is like, yeah, it's exclusive. When it's like, do you think Elden Ring would have been as earth shatteringly popular if it was exclusive? Maybe, but I don't know a single one of my closest friends who knows what Bloodborne is. But they all know what Elden Ring is and they all at least gave it a shot.
Do you want me to write a batch file to complete the quest needed to start the quest lines here? Um, I mean, that would be... I would really, really appreciate that. That would be amazing. I think I want to see how far we can kind of take it until things maybe soft lock. Like, actually, this is a good point where I'm just going to create myself a stable save. Because if things do soft lock and the game breaks itself, I'd like to have a point to return to, but I would also like to mention in the video the mod. What news do you bring from Fort Frostmoth? Well, it's only been three weeks, but I finally took him out. I had my suspicions that he was undead. How else could he have survived for over 200 years? It's a shame. There are quite a few tales of General Kerry. He drinks a Bud Light every night before bed. A Bud Light a day keeps your in-laws away. That's how he survived for 200 years. Councillor Morvain told me to give this to you if you made it back in one piece. And you got rid of General Carius. Better than a soldier's pay, so you should be thankful. 1500! My man Veleth! Woo hoo hoo! Woo, man! I mean... Dude. Finally a good paying job out here. It can be. Even the most experienced warriors can fall prey to petty distractions. They usually didn't amount Clock to Clock Monarch, it was underwhelming. He went down pretty easy. Some of my own men have become quite accustomed to a spirit they called Ember Brand Wine. Despise the stuff myself. It's powerful and tremendously addicting. I've seen men fail to finish even a single flask. If I knew where they were stashing the bottles, I'd put an end to it myself. Okay, so it's ever clear. It's ever clear. Just call it ever clear. You would? That would be helpful. I just don't have time to do it myself right That's now. bullshit. He just wants it all for himself. I see the look in your eyes, Veleth. You're waiting to get off of this so you can just, you know, slug down some hooch. Uh, they're too smart to have left it in the bulwark. I'd search one of the abandoned houses on the outskirts of town. I don't know. It's hard to remember. I want to figure out why they can't remember things. Find me that stash of wine. I'm itching to be rid of it. All right, let's go find some wine. Ember brand. Do my eyes deceive me? Is this this is like the third quest we've gotten without a quest marker? Please, I need you to hold my hand. It's not fair. <laughs> I can't think for myself. I'm a Skyrim player, damn it. Either you're here to look into protect. Tell me where the solution is. Damage. Elven bow of enervating. 50 points of magicka damage. That's pretty damn good. Major smithing. We like that. That gets us into fortify loop territory which i don't really want to get into it's in a barrel broken buildings near the blacksmith ah there we go see chat can act as my quest marker oh wait i know the building you're talking about in here right cool good to see you okay maybe not I didn't do anything. These guards are so accusatory. Ever since I took away their favorite hobby of slaughtering ash spawns, they're pissed off at me. Hey, 
Nah, it's not worth enough for me to take. Wait, what does it do? Restore 60 points of stamina, decrease stamina regeneration. Yeah, so not much. I hope he gives me a ridiculous price. Like, give me 2,000 gold. With the Ashborn threat taken care of, I can give my men the rest they deserve. Well done, friend. Thank you very much. Good. This will help me keep things running without having to worry about a bunch of soldiers falling asleep on duty. Here, take this for your trouble. 250 gold? I'll take it. Looking for any take a look. Don't think her inventory is updated yet. Remember, I have plenty of potions and ingredients. So we've got two places we can go. There's the excavation that we can move to, or we can move into this cave. But I think I want to do the first level of the excavation. See what we're able to get. If it's insanely easy, maybe try to fast track and get the second part of the excavation done. Because I want to get that necklace. That necklace is really good. I can do the player house quest now? Yes! Let's do that! Fuck yes! I want to get the house in town. I need to store my stuff. I need to start stockpiling things and crafting. I totally forgot about all the ingredients that I stored on, <laughs> on Fox Carries. I also need to sell or disenchant the cudgel. We in business yet, boys? Damn, how long does it take him? Oh, courier will let her? Okay. Uh, does anybody know where we start the quest for the player house? Yeah, Marnak, I, I, I don't cheat anymore. I've given up cheating. No, for this, uh, for this playthrough, I don't want to do quick save, quick load. I've used it a lot in a lot of videos, and I think it's a little bit old for me trying to re-explain quick save, quick load. Because I do think in a video it's a weird it's a weird exploit to use without explaining it each time. Because somebody new is on the channel I've never seen it used before. I would rather, if I'm going to explain a strategy that we're using, have it be a different one than we've used before. So we're we're keeping it relatively exploit free for the most part. Glover Mallory's the name. I think the main exploit we've used in this is sneaking into a corner and just leveling up sneak for the extra XP. Friend of a counselor. He'll approach me. Adriel Arano. He's probably in the pub. Or in the house? I think that's the senator, right? No. He does not. One moment. You look familiar. Uh, yeah, you're right. I'm the one who saved this entire town from constant attacks. Bitch. Yeah. <laughs> um one moment. I'm trying to think of where you should send it. Malice, I would probably if you have DDMs like DMs probably send it to him. I, he could put it in the like DDM mods channel. We'll 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 have to talk about it later. But I appreciate it. Thank you. Miserable. Just miserable. Oh, I hate this place. Vendral Severin. A pleasure to meet you. Sir. Welcome to the wretched... Sure thing. It's yours also. Into your room. Starting to really slow down leveling up, though. Let's wait until... 9 p.m. Actually, I'm not going to sleep. I don't want to take the teleport chance. Vendral Severin. A pleasure to meet you, Serio. Assisting the Redoran Guard with the Ash Spawn attacks has earned you quite the reputation here. Keep it up. Is that it? I have to be. A second co This isn't. After all we've been through together. Councillor Morvane is House Redoran's representative. I was about to ask. I, I have to do the mine second quest, don't I? It's my job to support you don't have to kill the dragon priest? Okay, so I probably just have to get down there and collect the book. That should be easy. I 
Let's go collect the book. It gets a little bit claustrophobic in there, and it's, you know, it's a trap dungeon. So we'll have to be careful. I should have slept. Damn it. Don't teleport me. I don't want to have to run all the way back to town just to get into the mine. Please, game. We did two teleports in a row earlier. We do not need another one. Yes. Good stuff. Good stuff. Look at us move. Look at us go. I'm so proud of us, chat. You've come so far. How about a drink? For Let's sate that appetite. Hmm? Come back if you're feeling thirsty. I'll set you up right. Glover Mallory's the name. If you're looking for a spirit, very high level Draugr, one of the best. Can sneak around the priest. You, I know you don't have to read the black book. I do have to fight the dragon priest. Death Lords with bows. I remember fighting them. I'm trying to remember when we did this in the first challenge that um, we shall not speak of. Shit, you're right. There's Death Lords. Those are going to be insanely tough. We can't take that on yet. It's not worth it. It's... Like, I mean, we can, on the fly, we can adjust when we get in there. But it, it is going to be a pain in the ass. It's going to be brutal. I think that there's easier things we can do. Easier things we can do right now that are going to yield good reward, like my dumbass finally remembering to go to the player home that I don't own yet and check if I can disenchant the champion's cudgel. Keep forgetting. I need to get back on top of it. I should right now start probably focusing on some kind of money-making method. At least as best I can. I trust you're not planning any to play through the dungeon repeatedly. Right, I need, I need somebody to give me an exact line that I can follow to just sneak through the dungeon. You can, in fact, disenchant the champion's cultural. I told you! I told you, Chad, chaos. Did I not? Can I put chaos damage on a, on a pickaxe? Oh, I don't have a soul gem. Access to invisibility and muffle. I don't. I think I want to avoid casting muffle repeatedly to level up because we've already done the sneaking exploit trying to rack my brain real quick and think of a direction we can go I'm surprised we made it all the way up here maybe we check out Kagrama's I think I'm going to dip my toes into Kagrama's and at least just sort of see what's going on there It shouldn't be really cold, so we shouldn't have to deal with the elements too much. Assuming it's a Dwemer facility, it'll be large with open spaces. So I can cast distractions. Dwemer robots are going to be tough. Kagramas will be terrible. Let's just poke our heads in. white stones for that dungeon what does that mean 
All right, it's a wave of enemy. You guys are really making me not want to go in here, but I feel like I should for the content. Come on. I got this. Gotta believe a little bit. Now, as long as I don't get trapped in there and I'm not forced to go through the whole dungeon before leaving, what could go wrong? I need to stop setting myself up for failure and saying shit like that. Okay, it does indeed work still. Oh, this place is already worth it. If, if I'm getting filled soul gems and jewelry, this place is so worth it. I don't want to carry any of the Dwemer scrap metal. I don't care for it too much. I can't craft with it anyway. Sounds good, Malice. Thank you for looking into that. Seriously, you guys are really on top of it. I really appreciate that. Reavers. We've dealt with Reavers before. Ooh, he's wearing that really cool wolf armor. I want it. I want it, and I want it now. Fuck, that's a lot of health. We can one-shot the other Reavers. But that main Reaver, the Marauder... Tons of health. And an outlaw. Outlaw's not terrible, but they are dodging my arrows like an asshole. And I'm just missing my shots like an idiot. There we go. Two down. One left, but he's a tough one. Look at Rocky go. Oh, that's just such an alpha attack. Want to watch me fuck up the ground? Want to watch me do it again? He's got a healing spell. Fuck, bad timing. Get fucked, nerd! Oh, I'm so much better than you! Can, can, Rocky. Don't use the spell. Don't use the spell. You're such a... This guy is being a floppy wiener. I mean, this is floppy wiener behavior. What you got on you? Nordic carved armor. I think this might be the coolest armor in the game. Just in my opinion. Excellent. Excellent armor. Resonance gem. I'm gonna pass on the mace. So I'm, right now I'm wearing steel soldier. I gave it a pretty good fortify health enchantment. Plus 34 but immediate upgrade for the Nordic carved armor. Not yet though. I just want to make sure I look cool. Oh yeah. Yeah, turkey stick looks badass. Turkey stick looks sick. Uh, I'm just wearing regular bone mold gauntlets. So Nordic carved should be an upgrade. <clears throat> it's very slight. I haven't been able to train any of my armor skills because you know, if you think about it, I haven't gotten hit a lot. I can't afford to. Okay. I... I almost defecated just now. I thought that was a trap going off. This... I don't like this at all. 
anything in Elder Scrolls where there's a big beam of light shining onto one object in the middle of a room always seems like it's going to be a disaster, like it's a huge trap. It's a Dwemer fighting right now. Right, like this is a spawn for spiders. Is is the door going to lock and am I going to be screwed? We handled that fight really well. But I think it's too early to clear this place out. We got through one good fight. We got a filled soul gem. I was going to say the door is going to lock me in. It, it, it looks too obvious. Like, I, I can tell. I, this ain't my first rodeo. No, I found two of the stones. Kagram has resonance gem. Unless there's more that I have to find. Also, Zay, I don't appreciate you saying that I've got no stones. It sounds like you're calling me a coward. You've got no stones, lad. That turkey stick, he's got quite a pair of stones on him. Charged into a cave on his lonesome. Oh, there's four? Okay. I was going to say there's probably more than I need. Why don't we head north? We've learned that reeklings are fairly, you know, not easy, but they're manageable. There's a camp of reeklings north of here. If we could start clearing it out, that would be nice. We already cleared that place out. We've made a ton of progress today. In, in terms of jumping into caves, killing enemies, and moving along the map, really nice progress. What do we have? I want to see my combat. People killed 36, animals 51, creatures 23, automatons 47. Uh, I, I don't think I've been killing that many robots. Unless the ash spawns count as a robot. They might. They could be classified as such. Well, why wouldn't they follow... Why wouldn't they fall under creatures? I gotta be careful. But I like this little mountain route. I could get the height advantage on the Reeklings. Yeah, this is a great angle. We're gonna take advantage of it. Conjuration 70. Look at us hitting milestones. Yeah, these Reeklings have way more health. Way more health. I can barely touch this thing. So is the Reekling fused to the boar that it's riding? Because when one of them dies, they both die. Like they're synced up. Is it like a voodoo doll? Jeez, these things are way tougher than I thought. Arrow coming in. Nice toss, little man. That's a nice little throw. I gotta be really careful here. Mainly because they all do physical damage. I have almost no defense against physical damage. Come on, we gotta take this one out. Come on. 
bastard. This is my mountain. Yeah, run away. Uh, woo. Two down. Come on, Rocky, what are you doing? Don't tell me you're getting common with the enemy. Crotch shot to win it. I was expecting more than three. For me, Tusk. Not bad loot. Not going to take any of the chode arrows. And another pendant. Come on, first try. Buh! Whoa, what was that? Oh, God, I thought it was about to attack me. Okay, so gold, magic potions. Strange vessel. Oh, no. Do I want to go in here? Uh, I kind of want to roll the dice and go in there. It sounds fun. Bear pelt. It's safe. <laughs> Rename Rocky to Dwayne. <laughs> All right, I'll call him Dwayne. I like that name. That's a good name. Okay, these little huts are dishing out the goods. Another bear pelt. Please tell me they have just another round of salt piles would be amazing. Purr, how are you? We're, um... So, we're pretty deep in this uh, challenge, but we started... A couple weeks ago in Solstheim, we're redoing the Solstheim region lock. Thank you, kind sir. Hey, Juve, new vid is awesome. Good stuff as always. Solstice, thank you. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Those. Everybody is too nice. I thought the internet was mean. Turns out everybody's just really kind <laughs> for the most part. Um. Oh yeah, there you go, Blake. I forgot I had that command up. Okay, I'm scared I'm gonna like step on a landmine or something. Elven Mace of Mal Malediction. Again. Oh, yes! Yes! Oh, fuck yes! I don't know if you guys realize how huge a necklace of frost at 40%. I know we have our necklace of fire at 30% already, but having both and switching between the two in a crucial moment is that's a huge find. That's one of the better finds we've had. Damn, I got to get rid of a lot here. I need to get rid of 18 pounds. Staff of flames, it's not worth a lot. I'm getting rid of it. Elven bow, I should probably get rid of soon. Gauntlets. Those are only a pound, so I'll keep them. It's because I have my steel soldier armor. It's worth 600. And I don't know why I wasn't wearing it before, but I should be. Because that could have cost me that last battle. <clears throat> are my boots enchanted? Yeah, my boots are very nicely enchanted with frost resistance of 40% already. Throw the necklace on there, it moves up to 80%. I'll ditch the bear pelts.
Okay, I have a weird feeling that as soon as I leave, I'm going to get attacked again. So I'm going to get ready. Let's go. Come on, who wants to jump me? <laughs> That's what I thought. None of yous. None of ya. You little bastard, you were. You were hiding in the bush. I <laughs> told see, I knew it. Come on, Dwayne. Oh no, Dwayne can't fit. He's self-conscious of his size. Don't make fun of Dwayne. He's trying his best. Dude, dickhead, put the arrows away. Attack somebody else with them. I'm getting too confident. One of those is gonna hit me in the dick and it's gonna end this whole run. Let's keep moving along this way. I need to get out of the snow here soon though. We've already been over there. No, we have not. We haven't been there? Why am I thinking we've been to this dungeon here? There's another stone over here we haven't discovered. All right, this path, we should be able to follow south. Pretty safe route back to town. But I'm going back to town with a lot of good loot. A lot of great stuff. Just on this one stream, I mean, it took us four streams to really start clearing out this part of the map. And just on this stream, we did Brodier Grove. We did Fort Frostmouth. We started Kagramez. We did the Altar of Thrond, that little cave in there. We did Frostmoon Crag. Uh, Frostmoon Crag, I think, was the old ladies who have bad knees. We ended up making this. We finally made it to Santa's Village on this character, first time. We genocided the goblins at Thirsk Mead Hall. We didn't really hang out too much at the Mushroom Kingdom. Didn't do a whole lot there. We started Colbjorn Barrow. Blood Skull Barrow, we did at least just the back end of it. But, I mean, that's a lot. We marked off a lot of stuff on this stream. Radage, we don't have a house yet, but the house is kind of the next primary goal we're going for. All right, this, that's an exit. That looks like it's probably the exit from Kagram is. Or another tomb nearby. Actually, it's probably that fort just ahead of me. The one that we saw just over the horizon. These are hidden for a reason. I know it. Imagine if I stepped on that fucking bear trap. I've got that Call of Duty perk, the one where you can see claymores and landmines that people set up through walls. Yeah, no name. It, it really depends on how the character levels up, the quests we're able to complete, how far we're able to get our character, how powerful we can make them. And then at that point, I'll likely... Um... Man, I'm catching a lot of Monarchs. I'm over encumbered. I picked up one butterfly and it's too much for me. <sighs> Slada, you guys go ahead. I'll just hang up back here. Uh, uh, oh, the, the dainty little butterfly wing is just too much now. Can't do it. I haven't ever seen anybody ask, but if you're wondering why I keep bringing up the console command, I just basically have a three key hotkey to fix my field of view. I like it at 90 because the hands are a little bit smaller, but more forward. Standard field of view, the hands are too small and all up in my face. Well, why don't you just go into the any files and change it permanently? Because I always forget. Honestly, it's <laughs> what do you, oh, okay, it's the courier. Don't scare me like that. I've been looking for you. Let's see here. There's a new museum opening up in Dawnstar. The owner is asking me to hand out invitations to travelers. 
got this from a pretty excited looking dark elf around Raven Rock. Okay, that's the mail I was looking for. I got it to you as soon as I could. Ah, a letter from the Jarl. Moving up in the world, eh? Look at all this mail I'm getting, man. Got to go. Damn. I'm the most popular guy in school. All right. Glover Mallory's the name. If you're looking Don't care. Also, you should assume that I know your name. Kind of been living in town for almost a month now. Ooh, yuck. I can't craft any. I have three rubies and I can't craft any jewelry. Hopefully our friend has reset. It's busy. As long as you keep bringing them, just what you see. Go with a pendant. Should have a lot of enchanted jewelry to sell them. Got robes, gauntlets. Actually don't have too much enchanted jewelry to sell them. Eight thousand gold. The question if it's not a weapon, potion Jarland. Oh, oh, Glover Mallory gets me a few things once in a while. You I hate when I do that when I scroll the Sometimes when I scroll the conversation options, it doesn't let me select the right one and I end up scrolling chat. So I'm gonna spend thirteen hundred gold right now on a grand soul gem. I can afford it. gonna start cutting down some of this stuff that I'm not really using try to cut down on weight as best I can love all the healing potions we're starting to stack up that's important potion of the night increase heavy armor skill by 10 I mean maybe I could use it I think the benefit from it might be negligible I don't really need all this food either we can clear up some weight Most of it I buy. Moon sugar, I'll get rid of some drugs. There we go. If you need any supplies, you know where to plenty of trading. Uh, what I want to do is enchant the Nordic carved armor I have. Then I can get rid of the extra uh, body armor that I'm carrying around. It gets lonely out here, you know, on this remote island. Are you hitting on me? I think she was hitting on me. Thank you, kind sir. Red, thank you for the tier one. And congrats on two months. I appreciate it. Stamina regen at 17% if we do a grand soul gem. Fortify health, 34 points. That's the same as it was before. Uh, I think I want my body armor to just always fortify health. I think that's going to be the best one, best option that we can go with. My gauntlets weren't enchanted last time. Increase magicka. 11 points? No. I'm not going to do that one yet, but I think I would like to do a Magicka buff on my gauntlets if I find another Grand Soul Gem. Yeah, this is a big upgrade. We keep the health buff and we get an extra 12 armor from it. Still pretty low because our skill isn't that high, but... It's a good, it's a good benefit. Oh, see, now I look, now I look burly and winterized. I'm ready to go into the mountains. It should keep me a little bit warmer. I would hope it does. One more. Ah, improve before enchant. That's a, that's a good call. 
my smithing is low i haven't been able to invest much in smithing i had to go so hard on archery with so many different perk points and level ups because i just i had to get myself to a really viable combat point I mean, now that we've gotten to that point where i can deal good damage we're moving at least much faster than we were before one moment Let me see, are we still on day 22? Yeah, we are. I don't know if it's because I use Sky UI, but none of my armor and stuff ever gives me a warmth rating. I just kind of have to eyeball it Welcome and to guess. Next corner. Are you joking? You just rented a room for me. Drink for the thirsty. Food for the hungry. No food for me. Watch yourself out there. Looks like an ash storm might be brewing. Geldis, what a douche. Get some rest. Good progress. Very good progress today. However, I need to take a look at some footage and get ready for the next upload. I want to have my next upload out on Christmas Day, so I have exactly two weeks from today. Let's raid out. Where shall we go? Who's playing Skyrim right now at this exact moment? Modding Extreme 4K RTX Ray Tracing Ultra Graphism. Oh, no, it's not. It was a French stream. It wasn't an English stream. Da, 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 da. Does anybody have any suggestions? I appreciate it. No, thank you everybody for who is who's hanging out. If, if you don't mind, please stick around for the raid. I would like to make someone's day if we can. Maybe some, maybe there's Oblivion streamers out there. Maybe someone's playing Oblivion, right? First playthrough, want to scratch that RPG itch. No, uh, I kind of want him to have a face cam. Why is it so hard today? Evora is streaming and she's cool. Okay. Evora. Art stream. Ooh. Okay, this is cool. All right, this is badass. I'm sending you guys over here. Great suggestion. All right, I'm sending you over to a cool art stream. Oh, is speed live? We'll we'll try and we'll try and catch speed again soon. Speed was fun to raid. Remember to be kind, be respectful. Don't be an asshole if you are uh someone narc on whoever's being a dick. All right, everybody, I appreciate it. Thank you all very much. Have a great rest of your weekend. Hopefully, we have some weekday streams this week coming up. I am working in the office, so I have to commute. Might be a little bit of a pain, and I want to get ahead on this next video. So maybe towards the end of the week, we'll have more streams. I know it's been a bummer not being able to stream, but I'm officially going full time on January 6th. Actually, technically the 7th. Okay, there. I said it. Bye. Bye. Okay. All right. All right. There. I said the date. Bye. <laughs>